Excuse me, what, Johnny Blams? What? Why? <laughs> Rude. It feels right. I know. <laughs> we have... Guys, can we do an enemy countdown right now? How many freaking enemies do we have right now? Start listing. I need to look around my room for my elbow pillow. What I do with my pillow? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, James Mason? Mason James? Wait, wait, wait. Mason James? I don't think... Okay. I don't think Mason James has any reason. We have never seen him. We have never interacted with him. <coughs> yeah, Rio is a problem. Oh, my heater stopped working. Pop it, Malone. Okay, I meant like enemies that, ugh, I meant enemies that want to hurt me physically. Not just be. Jeremy, Jeremy Cannibal get, okay. You know, Saffron has already had a I was attacked by a cannibal arc. We don't need another one. Oh no. The controller is somewhere. Did you see Saffron move? I didn't move her. Run it back. Saffron already has deep-seated cannibal trauma. <sighs> we don't need more of that. What would be nice would be some kind of story where Saffron gets into... Are you doing this cinematic for the controller, you heathen? Yes. Uh, actually, Classy Pax told me to do it, so I did it. I bought a controller and did it because Classy bullied me too much. <laughs> I also got it for driving in GTA, which I, I don't play GTA. But if you just... Look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. The game is too pretty, guys. It really helped her drive. Okay, why do I feel like that's insincere? It did help the driving! Look, Johnny, if you want to get Saffron, just be one of the people from when she was in New York and had debts or something. <laughs> Listen, we are not ready with, with, like, multiple active criminal parties just wanting to hurt us for no reason. We are not ready for, uh for backstory coming back to bite us. We already have Badge coming back to bite us over and over and again, over again. Her old debtors crashed the wedding, please no. Well, in my mind, okay, so in my mind, if that storyline were ever to happen, uh, it wouldn't necessarily be the debtors directly, but someone who bought her debt 
and is coming to collect. And it could be some nasty gang. Could literally be anyone who bought her debt is coming to collect. Just get ripped for a change. Saf had enough of torture. I mean, she's actually not been directly physically tortured on this server, which is pretty good considering the amount of times that we've been kidnapped. Want to see a Gatling at the wedding? <laughs> I mean, walking barefoot in the snow is pretty torturous. Yeah, but I mean, like... So Saffron has been tortured for information before, which is a pretty harsh thing, especially when you don't have the information. That kind of stuff has not happened here. Yeah, getting punched in the face with broken glass in your mouth uh, is definitely a lot worse than walking in the snow for a little bit. No, it's just psychological torture over and over and over and over No, no word from a coiner. We just had a chat with Amelie where she was like, yeah, I'm mad at him because he was avoiding you. I was like, yeah, it's, it's a great way to treat your friend. Oh, we got an I'm sorry from Rabbit from last night. Uh, she said, sorry, I hope you're healing okay from whatever happened this time around. Sorry that we indeed ain't seen each other for weeks. Rio reached out to me by telegram a day ago without clarifying exactly who he was. I guess we know now. I'll try and have him answer for what he's done. Rabbit. If I see sus people coming, I'll switch to my shotgun so that if they rob me, they can take that. Oh, that's not a moonshine run. <laughs> I think if the paper doesn't hire her back, all bets are off at that point. What do you mean by all bets are off? You mean... You think Saffron's gonna just start shooting criminals and eating vigilantism charges? by Am Amelie to the wedding, but not Coiner.
Nope. Uh, I mean, you're you're pretty much right. Saffron. No, the only reason she isn't preemptively shooting these people in a way that would uh, raise more eyebrows is because she still has hopes to. Who those people are? They could be law. I don't. I don't know who those people are. It could have just been law, because they were curious about me spazzing out when they when they walked up. <laughs> I pro I, I de if they're law, I definitely acted very suspicious. Rather look sus to law than be caught again by enemy. Yeah, that's why I, I mean, you saw what I just did. I literally bolted to my horse, pulled out my rifle and took off. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope Coiner is. I just hope that he doesn't accept too much hearsay stuff. You got Red M working today. Well, that's great to hear. No, Saffron is extremely paranoid. I mean, we've got, we, you know, we were talking about possible enemies. We've got the whole J-Bass, CD, Josie people to worry about. Uh, who have combined with Boons Boys people. Then we've got uh, that Varric, Varric dude who apparently doesn't understand that he robbed a deputy when he robbed her. We've got Rio coming out of nowhere, wanting the names of law involved at Fort Mercer against the Del Lobos. Which, I mean, we definitely have names, but we're definitely not sharing them without some extreme duress. I don't think Tommy and Adelaide are active threats. I'm talking about active threats. I mean, I, we don't interact with any of them. Yeah, we don't interact with any of them. So while they would happily throw us under the bus in terms of spreading information around, I don't think that they would just come at us and try and kill us for no reason. I exactly. How'd the frostbite go? He's limping, it's painful. We haven't been rechecked. <clears throat> okay, so they you gonna go and make me me do the Aussie thing again. That's right. I guess you're just keeping me, um, keeping me practiced. <laughs> hey, if an, if an actual Aussie doesn't get annoyed by 
by hearing me do my fake Aussie, then I'm at least doing something right to a degree. <laughs> it's not so annoying that you can't stand it, that you can't stand it. One day I'll watch a Juniper stream. Well, uh, so that's the thing is I don't have a character named Juniper at the moment. I did. It's one of my favourite names. <coughs> but uh, the story I had for Juniper never went anywhere because I did stuff with Scarlet Rose and she permed on me right away. Huh. I wonder where we've seen that happen before. I oh, know. I need to try and get on with cricket. Channel points just have outdated dated character names. Yes, they do. I like leaving it there because that was like the original though. <coughs> so, Cricket isn't her real name, but her actual name is Chrissy Blitz. Is dinner downstairs. I'm gonna run and grab that dinner. Oh, oh. One die. That's a beautiful shot. I mean, realistically, right there with a rate of bleed out, I uh, causing more trauma isn't actually going to help that much because consciousness gets lost really fast. Ah, uh, if you couldn't see that level of bleed out happening, or you hit it in a bad spot, then maybe step into dispatch quicker. Like that time I got out of work, and um. Uh, immediately a deer flopped away from me as I tried to pull out the driveway and I looked and there's this this young uh, buck yeah it was already dead at that point exactly this young buck who'd had his back legs destroyed by a semi truck and uh, so one leg was had the femur protruding out of it and the other leg was floppy like a noodle and I, uh, I hollered for my co-worker and he went and got a shotgun out of the back of the truck and we wait until the uh, other workers left and then we dispatched the deer and he took it and he cleaned it out in the back field. Well, that, that poor thing had probably uh, laid there for a good part of the day. But we didn't know. That's right, I want to go down to Sand and Knee. It's not a kangaroo get ran over today. <laughs> that is such an Australian thing to see. I've heard that they are kind of like our deer here though, and they make lots of roadkill. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna go go grab a plate of dinner, and then I'm gonna talk like a 
And yes, you're hearing this right, a normal person. When I get back. back the delicious bowl of curry Right, why on earth are you going so slow? I'm trying to get it into cinematic mode so I can eat something. You know, I hate to be that negative about it, but I'm gonna go with probably 50 50 right now. There's just so many bad people out there right now, and we don't know who any of them are. We don't know where they are. There's just all these problems that we gotta think about and worry about. I think the chances that I got that I get kidnapped tonight are seventy percent in favor of not getting kidnapped. Because I hope that's what you mean by that. My curry's just a little bit too hot. Yeah, I miss Holly too. Mm. Hey, Blockification, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Oh, I'm just I'm really getting started. Riding around aimlessly is the game for Saffron these days. We'll go down to Saint Denis, see if we can't run into any of them Taipan folks. Maybe go up to Butcher's Creek and do a little bit of hunting right there in the general area.
Saffron's chances of getting kidnapped are 100% because she's always going to get kidnapped eventually. You know, that's not necessarily true, okay, Lacey? Bagheera says that since yesterday, I had not been kidnapped for three months. You have literally no reason to kidnap me on any of your characters, Lacey. It's true. The last kidnapping before yesterday. Oh, oh, what and what what would the reason be, Lacey? Because I feel like it would just be a bandwagoning start running Fox's revenge. What do you mean revenge? Saffron didn't do anything to running Fox. Running Fox shows up suddenly to kick her, kick Saffron out of Wapiti. <laughs> she had to fight back the entire tribe because they wanted to go to war for you. See, Saffron didn't know that they wanted to go to war for her, and she definitely did not want them to go to war for her. That was never what was intended or hoped for at all. High Rose was just a friend and Bloodmouth was being nice. And they saw that she was alone and in crisis and, you know. The only thing that would have made sense in that scenario would just be them going at some people because of how they pocket wiped Hyro. Really. Getting weapons back. That's funny, cause that that never uh, that never even reached my ears. Like I see or O C. Is that what? Yeah, Saffron would have shouted that down pretty firmly. The war parties were cool to see, though. <laughs> There's also one time, the time when civilantes were running rampant. something but uh, uh, if we don't we'll give you a good deal on a Lancaster oh hey copperhead did you have any Lancasters or any any weapons at all yeah no. are you kidding me uh, any of the other employees do they have
It splits new... new... De Lobo. Yeah, no, he took us... <laughs> Lacey, that's, 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 that was the kidnapping we got yesterday. Was split. Kidnapping me. So much for Taipan being a potential safe spot for Saf. Ha ha. Yeah. No, he wanted to extract the names of people who had been at the Battle of Fort Mercer. From us. Well, here's the thing, is if she lets them know about the situation with Rio, they might encourage him to stay away from her. But then again, who knows? I'm so mad. I'm so mad. No, she didn't give up any names. Um, He didn't actually torture her though, I mean, he didn't get it. He started making her stand on ice and stuff like that. Um, I'd say that he would have been able to start getting names out of her if he'd been a lot meaner, but he wasn't. And she, she refused to give up any names. But what I did do was say, uh, very, I was very open about our involvement, about her involvement. She's like, yeah, I made the final push. I helped shoot down Burrow and Bonnie Jack. But names? That was a long time ago. I can't remember who was there. Um, yeah, the only ones I'm really thinking about Branch, Wright, Medley, Malone, Rabbit, Snow. Oh, <laughs> Snow's not at law, and he's with Redwater. Lewis, which I don't even know if she plays anymore on Lewis. Did I say Shaw? Shaw. Yeah, Snow's with Redwater. Isn't that trash? Yeah, they wouldn't let him, um, they wouldn't let him rejoin, um, that's it, Pop is just me, Pop is just me having Del Lobo. No! Okay. I'm sure Split is just laughing his head off. I'm sure he is just laughing his head off. And I, I do though, I feel like I can't go anywhere.
paranoid. Yeah, actually, I need the, uh, hang on. I'm going to, I'm going to show a clip to you. I'll show you a clip. So paranoid. Discussing. More than one thing that can do the discussing. I wasn't even being reckless, Lacey. Not sure what you mean by that. I feel like I'm about to get kidnapped, man. I am. Ugh. I was making oat cakes. I had a whole crate set up and was doing stuff. Well, let me show you. Don't test me, lady. Come on. Why? Who are you? Really? Who are you really? Well, if you're so curious... This is voice character walking come up along over with there. Me. I don't want to come with you. I think he was going to take my horse. Put the gun well, down. I'd rather not have to shoot you. I tell you what, you put your gun down, I'll put mine down. Fellow, you keep creeping up, I'll shoot you too. Please go get help! Put the gun down before I get antsy. I'm putting it in most... More than one thing that can do the discussion. Yeah, that was boy. I am not involved in this. Not sure what you mean by that. And then as I then as I got carried away on the horse, I get a DM from boy. Yeah, sorry, totally not the character that would help you out. <laughs> yeah, watch rip ride by from the left. Yeah, rip rode by right before guns were pulled. infuriating and there was like we checked there were so many people that saw what was happening in the background and were completely 100% oblivious people in the background too busy with fake wrestling matches and bird calls yeah as I'm getting tied up and put on a horse there's two people being dragged over to the medical office in capped because they had some stupid brawl in the back alley behind them. Saf's going to have to hide by using the band voice. I see Lee Saffron cannot do a uh, an American accent. Bulk. Bulk bargain. <laughs> So stupid. I hate it so much. I know. I heard band voice mention it is not allowed. It needs to fade away into the darkness. Why do you have a problem with the band voice blockification? I really don't see what the problem is. <laughs> that doesn't look like a potential bank robbery being staged at all. Try not to get kidnapped. Try not to get kidnapped. Try not to get kidnapped. Oh. I just really wanted to go chat with 
Taipan, and they were there. Weird guy with eye patch moving really fast. Maybe you should just kidnap Slit. Yeah, that would be really great. There's no law in this part of the state. Bearded Taco, thank you for the follow. Why? There's literally no. There's no law in Sanity, no law in Rhodes. Where are all of them? He definitely saw me, right? So why would he stay there when I could have run off and told the law that he was there? I literally watched, like, recognized him by how he looked alone. I didn't hear his voice. He was wearing the same outfit. Same hair. Imagine just not him at all. I don't believe it for a second. We just stared at his unmasked face for too long yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, Lacey, I don't know if you're still here. But, uh... <laughs> that entire conversation from when Slit walked up to me. My, my danger senses were... <laughs> We're going off. And it was not just because it was split, okay? Although, you know, I was not meddling because it was split. It was specifically because he had been a creeper the day before, calling me out as Deputy Saffron multiple times. Tell me why I hate Mondays. No one plays on Mondays. I'm playing. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was I was very on edge. <laughs> I know what that is. I'm gonna maybe pretend like I didn't see anything. That I just forgot some money or a gun to look at. Oh no, it's those two. Watch him be it, being in there selling Saffron's guns. Almost guaranteed. Almost guaranteed, man.
it's a good thing, right? You'll just get them right back, most likely. Yeah, depends. Depends on Taipan's disposition. Do you think Saf would get cold feet this quick after getting engaged by the tisk? Okay, Kryptonic. Out of control. Wow. Wow. How dare you. It's just gone now. I'm sad. I want a gun store RP. Flood's not at his gun store either. I don't get gun store RP. running. Cool? Cool? No, I didn't want to get kidnapped. I'm trying not to get kidnapped. No, I wanted gun store RP. Staff gonna get Stockholm syndrome. No, she's already dealt with that. Sorry, what did you shout as you rode, as you ran by me? Cool. Uh, I'm, uh, oh, um, I said sorry. I'm, I'm looking for a doctor. Oh, no. Uh, I thought I heard Emily somewhere around here, but I can't find her now. Oh, mm, sorry. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought maybe I surprised you as I was uh, in a little bit of hurry. A wee bit. I mean, the shop was very, very busy and then it was suddenly very empty. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, there's a man who's uh, maybe dying. Uh, and I need to find doctor, and I can't find her. So have you sent a telegram to medical? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you do, you know Emily Canward? I I do know her. If I've... you see her, would you send her to the um, medical office as soon as possible? Aye, of course. There's a man there. Just a little fist fight. Nothing else. He got knocked out, but he's having serious problems now. Okay. It was a friendly fight too. It's very strange. I don't. Maybe this. I don't know. It's confusing me. But okay, if you see her, please uh, help. Aye, okay. If, if I do, I will. Of course, I will. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh next time. Yep, Saf is engaged to Rip. 
<laughs> Vertigo was posting sulky, sulkily about it in his meta chat earlier today. <laughs> You know, as one does. <clears throat> we just don't have to. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, I saw that involved. You think he's gonna try his luck with Wallaby now? It'd be hilarious if he did. I. D I, I doubt it, but it would be hilarious. <laughs> now, Wallaby crashing the wedding could be pretty... I, I would not mind. What? Crashing and robbing the wedding? Yeah, that'd be cool. That looks like Sloan. That looks like Pip, though. Uh, no, Poe. Not, not Pip. Poe. <gasps> oh, sorry, excuse me. Is that, is that Poe? No. Sorry. I thought you were someone I, I knew. I, there's someone who needs medical assistance over it. The doctor's office. You have buying a new horse. Any suggestions? <gasps> wow, she's actually on Pavis. Cool. Let's go hang out with her.
It'd be nice to see the old town screw back together, but I don't know if that will ever happen. I think they could definitely hang out. I mean, I get that you can be so hungry you could eat a horse, but buying one while eating. <laughs> Buy eating. Oh, we will definitely tell Pavis the story of the accidental horse. Uh, Charlie gave it to us to give to Pavis. make our way back to um, Rhodes. Let's see if we get a reply from Pavis. Hop off and try to RP for the first time. Thanks for the stream. All right, good luck, Edward Lemming. Billy Blasters, maybe? I feel so... Man, I feel so paranoid, guys.
Oh, that was not Billy Blasters since caffeine is right here. <laughs> but we don't know that I see. Telegram to LAW. Billy Blasters seen headed towards San Denis along the tracks. Looks suspicious. Please arrest. Hey, caffeine. We have a telegram. If we can link it with Pavis, she is one of the characters I would feel most safe to be in a group with. Correct. And also, if uh, any dangerous people come up and try and mess with us, she can shoot first. I'm sure she doesn't mind eating vigilante charges. And if Pavis shoots first, then I can shoot after they start shooting. Meat. Troll head to San Denis, loads of people in black water. KJ. I'm sure Pavis will definitely shoot first. He doesn't even have to ask. for dry goods are going up again. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. The price for dry goods is going up again. Uh-huh. Yep. NPC conversation right there. man too real yeah I like how she's just like uh-huh bowls overland ice refrigerated transit oh, I wonder if there's like an ice chest right here 
Hathaway's traveling shop opening hours. Monday, road, 7 to 9. Tuesday, Valentine, 10 p.m. to midnight. Wednesday, San Denise, 9. You can find us at the refrigerated transit stand next to the telegram office. Interesting. And this out, yup, is a full sentence. Sound like he went, yip, though. Like, Y-I-P. Which is even better. Man, the urge to shoot the bell. I am not Scythe. My bell is dead. No shooting the bell. A law-abiding citizen. I'm sure there has totally never been a dead body in that. Are you telling me that someone, like, emoted putting a dead body in there? Of course. I mean, it's only good journalism to make sure the bell works. Mal, why are you trying to get Saffron in trouble? Steph doesn't shoot the bell, she just flips it up. No, she doesn't! <laughs> she, she is not. That was retconned! Yep. There she is. I think I found you. How you doing? Um, alright. Then I was in uh, Sandini earlier to go to the gun store, but I saw a uh, Delobo in there, so I left. A Delobo? I thought they were all fucking dead. Apparently not. Oh well, not our problem now, is it? <laughs> well, it's my problem because uh, they're wanting revenge on people who were involved in the shootout at Fort Mercer when we, we took them down. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. How do they know I, you were involved? Well, I'm pretty sure I've met this one before. Um, oh. He was calling me Deputy Saffron a day or two ago, and then he grabbed me last night and took me out to the snow and tried to get names out of me. But... When did you meet him? Oh, did he meet him? He went up to me, uh, or, or uh, if I did, it was a, uh, it would have had been one of the times that we arrested Delobos, or that time that they stopped me and they stabbed me and left me up in the woods, handcuffed. That's the only times oh. that I can think of. But at the same time, he, I saw him in the company Morgan Lee, and Morgan Lee oh, was yeah, okay, mm -hmm. yep. Loud mouth. Well, Morgan Lee is running around with a bunch of Summer's castoffs. Uh, Redwater. <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember Redwater. Yeah, I remember Redwater. Um, Redwater and Summer's split. Uh, some disagreement. Summer's got Peter Gray, as far as I understand, and then pretty much everyone else. So Redwater and Desmond Pierce, Morgan Lee, some of Summer's old people, they're all together. And I saw him, I saw, I saw this Delobo with them, and then... Um, now that'll be interesting because Snow, Deputy Snow, former Deputy Snow, is also around, yeah. and he was at Fort Mercer, and he's with Redwater now. Ju Julian Snow. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. What? What's happening? I didn't can. I just, didn't can either. Just, just imagine Snow, Morgan Lee, and Desmond Pierce all together in the same game. That's it, I'm leaving forever again. <laughs> Goodbye, it's been nice knowing you. Why do you oh my God. why are you taking out your knife for that? I'm just very frustrated right now. I'm just gonna 
Throw knives at them all. Were you there at the battle at the fort? Mm-hmm. Sure was. Well, they're gonna be looking for you too, then. Well, good luck finding me. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I understand. I appreciate it. I will uh, do to them what I did to the rest of them, I guess. I've set off telegrams to Wright and Branch, but I haven't heard of it, heard from them for a while. So yeah, I haven't seen or heard from them in an age myself. Midas, please. <laughs> so we're shopping. Something else. Hi, I. <laughs> what are you looking for Tell in particular? I have no idea. I've got two Turkomans and pants. Irish cob and a thoroughbred. Is the other Turkman in the uh, Perlino one? Nah, it's oh. my former oh, house horse. Oh, the black one. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about getting myself a, a Perlino uh, Turkman and then uh, accidentally bought a Perlino Andalusian at a horse auction. Uh huh. Why you say that? No, uh, it, so there was an auction happening, and uh, oh no, I bet on a horse. No, I did. Oh no, okay. a horse. Oh. I was getting bored. I wasn't paying attention, and I got hungry, <laughs> and so I ate some oregano <laughs> to tide me over. And they pointed at me, and said, "All right, two hundred dollars going once, going twice sold." <laughs> That's true. I didn't even purposely I don't know buy what's more sad about that. The fact that you accidentally acquired a horse or the fact you were eating plain oregano. Listen, I was so hungry. Apparently. What about Dutch worms? These blocks? fucking dogs! Why are these dogs still here? Fuck off! Because they always are. They're always, I think they're multiplying. Yeah, there's four of them. Well, if you went to look at horses, Sandy is probably a better place because they've got a bank and electric lighting. Yeah, and also the sun's going down. Mm-hmm. And it's so, what kind of horse free. did you buy? Uh, it was a Perlino Andalusian. Uh, so I got a five hundred dollar horse for two hundred. So it's not, yeah, it's not, not the end of the world. Yeah. And a pretty funny story about how who's that? Hang on. Uh, I have seen. Okay. So many white hats. Gonna, it's not today. a white hat, it's a coon skin hat. Oh, it kind of looks white from It okay, did, I'm that's what that's. Alright. It did, that's a. I had a image in my head of a deputy running away from people on foot or something like that. Well, if the Della was your back. <laughs> well, I don't know kind of if it's just the wooden or if there's others. You know what? If Snow joined. <laughs> if Snow joined. Wait, Redwater's not with Summers anymore? No, they've split off. Wait, when did that fucking happen? I don't know, like a month ago, two months? I don't know. What I heard is Summers ran out of money, stopped paying them. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, Summers is a broke bitch. All he's, right. His old hat, as far as I understand. Yeah. Uh, last I heard, he was going about pettily rubber, robbing people, so. Uh, oh. Uh huh. Hmm. How the mighty have fallen. Pretty much, that's uh, that's my perspective on it as well. God, I hope they burn that document about that battle at Fort Mercer. That had every deputy's name listed, every sheriff. I know other ways it's likely a matter of time before they just grab someone, drag them to the office, and make them read it off. Yep. That's not suspicious, people standing on the roof at the slaughterhouse. That's, yep. No, but apparently it's also opened up. There's, it's an, it's an entire maze inside there. Yeah. Uh, gangs are using that place as a hideout. Of course they are, because they're disgusting. It's got about 200 different nooks and crannies where you can hide. What's a nick? A nick and cranny, you know what I'm saying. A nick. 
Someone has to give you a hard time. Everyone, I, 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 I Without got, kidnapping. I, I, was, I got kidnapped yesterday, Pavis. You're welcome. I mean, unless you want me to kidnap you, I guess no, I can do that. I, n what? No. Okay. Ooh, what if I, like, kidnap you from a kidnapper? That's actually been done. Actually got paid for. For benevolence or malevolence? <laughs> I... It was, it was, they peed, they peed the bloody hoods, and then let me go. I'm sorry, what? You don't remember that? Oh, okay, I misheard you. It's, <clears throat> bloody hoods grabbed me, and then uh, Sam Bass yep. paid them $1,200 to give him, give me to him, and then he let me go. Oh, that, I remember that, and you tried to pay him back, and he was all like, no. Aye. Yeah. And then one day he suddenly demands money back and then he took it and then shot shot rabbit down like a day or two later. Such a good fellow, that one. He's he's dead now, did you know that? Oh, well good. Fuck him. Howdy. And it's just as well if that wind doesn't speak to you. That's Sloane, who's now with the Dicenzos. Wasn't she with Kettleman? Uh huh. Aye, she was a uh, date him. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's fu never mind. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. It's not worth it. <laughs> so how's your uh, your Andalusian? Oh, he's great. Very pretty horse. I named it Teish, but I keep calling him Accidental Purchase too, so... <laughs> <laughs> AP. Well, I mean, I, now with the, um, with the deed system, it's a lot easier to keep track of your ho horses, mm -hmm. so uh, you can kind of afford to keep those who are more of just a pleasure pony. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, that made me nervous. Me too. A lot of Europeans who haven't got the understanding to ride on <laughs> the right side of the road. <laughs> Isn't that you, though? I know which side of the road to ride on. I've been here long enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing like a, like it's got me like, he's got them Brits, I swear. Well, I did mention that Sam Bass is dead, but unfortunately his nephew's got a nephew who's here too, and they're all out for blood. And he's just like him? Pretty much. I, his nephew's yeah. nephew is just like him. <laughs> that sounds about right. I think if I would, were just going for a, a horse to get just because, I would look at ones that aren't commonly kept. Like, there's the rose grey Andalusian for one. There's mm -hmm. also the grey uh, Hungarian half-red, which is very striking, striking. Uh, I kind of, if you just look at him, he's got a very bright pattern. They're so big, though. Aye, they are. But you know one thing I've found about uh, the larger horses? If you want to uh, make them just sort of look like they suit you a wee bit better is not to put a blanket uh -huh. roll in the back of the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, don't turn it into a camel, basically. <laughs> uh, and likewise, if I were to ride a Morgan or an Arabian, I do put the bed roll in the back of the saddle. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just makes them look a wee bit more balanced. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> And there's always pretty ones like a uh, the black or the flea bit and grey uh, Norfolk roadsters. Just nice horses. Yeah, I kind of like that rose grey too. Oh, the rose grey. Aye, I mm -hmm. I went to get mine back, Persephone. She was a good horse. 
could uh, I use her for low? She could keep up with a yeah, I remember with her. a Turkman. There was no problem at all keeping up with Turkmans. Oh, and I'll tell you this though. Uh, I'm a not like I really expect you to spread it around, but we're only telling a few people. Rip and I are engaged. Just as of the You and Rip? Hi. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> but many people thought they were dating before they actually were. Yeah, they did. It's been like three. Andalusian out. You know what? I might get my Clad Reaver back. I do miss him. I uh, which which uh coat was that? Uh the silver. I uh, they're they're pretty nice. Although there is a there's also a grey on their uh on the mm -hmm. list there that no one really uses. A very light yeah. grey though. I'm sort of a fan of the striking ones. Like I've got one of those uh steel grey Britons. He's so pretty. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a couple years in wild RP time. Eh, kinda, except for I definitely don't age my character years because I'm on fast. Yeah. I'm gonna try out the Andalusian for shits and giggles. Oh, hey. A lift to the bank, please. Sure thing. Aye, this is accidental purchase here. Surprise, this is kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> you could just pull your gun out of my holster. Oh yeah, that is my gun. <laughs> I. Well, in all fairness, I didn't really think you were coming back for it, so I um, had some work done on it. That gun has haunted me from the day I tried to get rid of. Literally, okay, just, let me tell you about it? this story. I Not really, so it was robbed from me by the wallaby kid, right? Uh -huh. Oh my god, that's a dead horse. <laughs> oh! Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually, that's kind of a cute horse, too. You know what? Maybe I should. Hmm. Uh, I mean, they're. I. But I think maybe if you pick uh, a dirt. Make sure they've got the dirt mean and tail, because otherwise they sort of mm -hmm. just look like a really well marbled piece of meat or bacon. <laughs> I mean, it's true. That's a I think I would name mine Kevin. Huh. Seems somewhat fitting. Kevin Bacon. You're so welcome. Sorry? Oh, you're so welcome. For for, what? <laughs> for for being in the presence of my hilarity. Uh, this is just me judging. <laughs> Why did they just leave it there? I don't know, kind of, it's very upsetting though. It kind of is. No, I said I was getting the- I'm, I'm getting the Andalusia. <laughs> well, I mean, if you- You can always- I can- I can it. get Kevin later. Aye, I, I mean, you can get- You can get all of them, depending on <coughs> how you're based mm -hmm. down. And your storage. Oh, my storage is so bad. I have so much law equipment still set from. <laughs> When he, oh. like, reached out to get it. I had mine off to cash. Oh, Except man. for, I noticed my binoculars are still property this yes. I I'm highly shocked. doubt they will ever I'm check that. I'm shocked that they have not been bobbed off of me all this time. Considering yeah. the amount of times I've been robbed. This is robbery. Uh-huh. Give me your binoculars. <laughs> Because I definitely don't have my own litter store. Uh huh, uh huh. Do 
July 12th, Rip opened up to staff about his past. Pirate Adventure date was July 5th. It wasn't a date! I need a name! I, wh which one is it? Is it the Rose Grey and Illusion, or is it something else? Yeah, it's the Rose Grey and Illusion. Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Done. I, I was going to say, like, Rose Quartz or something. Oh, then I can it, so... It was not a date! You're so good at naming horses. <laughs> What'd you see? You're so good at naming horses. Listen, I mean, the horses I've got out right now are Teich, Midas, Cusco, and Odysseus. Oh god, you have Rip's horse too. <laughs> Aye, that's the, that's the steel grey Brit. <laughs> Isn't that the one that tried to kill him all the Aye, time? Aye, that's why I have him. He's a good boy. I don't know can wait with Rip's issues with him, but... He's to be fair, boy. Rip had issues with his Turkmen too. <laughs> I know. He just doesn't admit it. It's in denial. He tried to tell me that Tide was a great horse too, and, you know, wouldn't he throw him off a cliff like Cusco did? But I uh, definitely remember chasing after uh, James Kelly in the desert and just looking for Maple and Briar who were missing, and um, finding Rip just face down on the dirt because. <laughs> he tried to go off Jorge's gap and <laughs> just <laughs> Oh my god. Why does everyone try to get in Jorge's gap? <laughs> Every time. You think they would learn, but they never do. <sighs> Speaking about prayer. And a lot of death deaths in the department lately. Briar, 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 Easy Briar. Bear. Usually wore pink. Oh, nights. yep, yep. She was, Briar's dead. She became sheriff. I am. Are you She got kidding? murdered just a week or two ago. What the fuck? I'm Deputy Marshal Monroe. Also dead. I <laughs> Ripley. Ripley's dead. Aye, she fell out of a hot air balloon. And her husband, Klaus. Did he also fall out of the balloon? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I'm oh, okay. not sure how he passed, though. And, um, just... Actually, just a few days ago, Boyd Kerrigan, too. Oh, for fuck's sake. I should be... I should be more sad about Ripley's, but that's... That's a pretty great way to go, you know. Somehow Billy Blasters, who had the other balloon who got struck by lightning, didn't he die? So How unfortunate. That. I know another uh, another deputy uh, Addison Clockwork? I can't even remember his name. He fell out and he was in bad shape for a while. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of him. He's newer. There's a lot of new faces in the department. Mm. Boy. <sighs> so many deaths, actually. Jamie Marlowe. She got killed by uh, members of um, Creed's group. And uh, Farmer Marshal Weaver came back as, as a deputy and he also got killed. And uh, Molly Mills also came back to the force, but she passed away. Sorry, my ears got a little blocked there. Oh. What came back to the force? Okay, so Jamie Marlowe, you remember her? Yes. She got killed by some of Creed's old group. Did they eat her? No. Okay. Um, and you remember Marshall Weaver? Mm -hmm. He turned up and he became a deputy for a while. He also got murdered at one point. Oh, for fuck's sake. And Molly Mills came back to the force and she died. She wasn't killed, I think she... She was in poor health. Huh. 
And I think there's been a few other deaths too that were somewhat recent, but it was like really new woman. Wouldn't be well shit. Name. All right, let's go get the pony. I forgot to annoy her by running in and out of the stall. Pavs just got the most depressing meta dump ever. I know, right? Cute and chunky. That's a that's a stall. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, he's pretty. Yeah. I do like how they start grey and I and they get that sort of bold, bold yeah. looking face. This is like that's that a time. stall, Pavis. All right. You know what? You know what? Shh. <laughs> Maybe I, I wanted to go in here. This uh -huh. is my purpose. Look, look how good the horse looks in the fancy stall that costs uh -huh. more than a house. Anyway, <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, no, this was like the time we bought the Dutch horn blitz. I know. <laughs> I've got a chocolate one now too, but he's a uh, at the chocolate ruin, but he's all I'm um, living it up in pasture at the moment. Ooh. How many horse steeds do you have now? <clears throat> um, <laughs> well, Rip's got care of Hephaestus at the moment. Who? Uh, Hephaestus, my, my uh, dark bee turfman. Oh, okay. <sighs> I sold Calixto, who was my Norfolk roadster. Mm -hmm. uh, the the tricolor? Mm -hmm, that one. So I just figured, you know, I was never really too enamoured with him and I uh, just feel like still everyone rides a horse that looks just like him, so... Yep. So I sold right. him to Bailey down here for $600. Where do you want to go? I don't know, I was thinking about going up towards Butcher's Creek and uh, shooting beavers and just making some money. Oh right. yeah, let's go. You uh, lead because I don't really remember the way there. That's right. Hey, that was looking very nice. I like him with the, the dark mane and tail on him, too. Yeah. Some, Don't shoot it or probably some idiot let it um go in right let it get itself stuck in the bank and then they freaked out trying to get them out yeah i think malone just started rping them as being divorced I'll have to show you how to make hay cubes for your horse. You'll like that horse feed that you can carry 50 in one pocket and it's not just sugar cubes. Oh, nice. Is it like quality hay though? Is it good? Well, you go pick the wheat yourself. So, <laughs> not the best, but I guess yeah. you could select it yourself. It's fiber, I guess. And you add sugar to it too, but it's less than just straight up, here's a sugar cube. Yeah, it's because it's like, oh yeah, your horse isn't going to eat just wheat straw, so add some molasses to it and that'll make it better. <laughs> 
I, I'll typically feed my... I mean, I've got some hay cubes now because someone gave them to me or I made them, but uh, I'll go for the wild carrots. Yeah. Maybe that needs to be my new focus. You know, I was messing around with tonics and stuff for a while. Oi. Yeah. I still have my old notes on them. Just reorganized, put my time doing that again. Let's see. Going to Pitcher's Creek. Is there a way this way? I mean, as long as you follow the river, you should technically run into it at some point. Aye. I don't think Summer's Gang is out there by Van Horn as much anymore, but it's still a Do you mean like Summer, Summer's Gang or Redwater? Oh no, Redwater's everywhere. They're not okay. currently wanted, so they're just lounging about gotcha. in town. Trying to stay out of sight. Alright, All right, this is whatever. Let's take the way around. Uh, right. I was taking this road back up towards Wapiti when I um, got rolled up on by Dead Eye Jack and Thorn. Oh god. Is that precious flower still around? I'm sorry, what? Is that precious flower still around? Are you talking about Thorn? Yes. Night? Well, I mean, she got pit in Sissica that very night for a very long time. Oh, okay. Has she been out? Kidnapping and torturing Law again. Big surprise. That's what she mm -hmm. does. Oh, oh sorry. There, the, the road is, is right here at Pavis. It's right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's foggy. Stop bullying me. Oh, please, like I could bully you effectively. <laughs> <laughs> right. Doing call outs like I'm doing a law patrol. I I hated that the first thing I thought of when you said right was right with a W. <laughs> <laughs> That's a log. <laughs> it's okay, we're just taking care of me. This is fine. Nothing could go wrong. Maybe you've bought yeah, yourself I, I a jumper. I didn't run into Summer's gang on this exact road. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, he's right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? I, oh, right again. I, I went to Gorma. And he's one of the only people that I ran into over there. <laughs> of course he'd be over in Gorma. In fact, actually, he snuck up on me. Well, he tried to. And then I evaded him. And then he was like, was that you creeping around? I was like, aye, because he had your gun out and your stocking. <laughs> as he like put it, to think that as he's probably over there, fat off of rum. Probably. And, uh, he, refuses to button his shirt. Uh, I showed him around the place a wee bit. We explored and he showed me some things and then I... Uh, it was a good thing I was there because he definitely fell off a cliff and uh, <laughs> I had to help him up. But meanwhile, uh, a few days later, I uh, ran into Summer's gang. Well, it was Morgan and a few of the other Summer's gang and they all came after me and they all fell off the cliff. <laughs> the same cliff. Alright, so here is Butcher's Creek. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can see the beavers on the other side of the river. They're worth a pretty penny. What's a pretty penny? I can't even remember. They're just decent. I was trying to get out and hunt yesterday when I met Mr. Casper Rio or whatever his name is. Why are you. Rio Spur. <laughs> what? Rio Spur. I said his name was Casper and then he said his name was Rio, so. So is it like. I'm not sure Casper if it's. Casper River? <laughs> I guess so. Isn't that. Isn't. 
that Spanish forever? I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Neither do I. You don't say. <laughs> Sometimes you see them over there on the other side. They're so shy too. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of chewed stumps that look just like them. <laughs> over here. These are cute little ponies. Fine, they are. I had a dark bay one my first horse uh, in the states and he was evil he kicked me non-stop all the time see there's that twisted stump in front of you and it looks like three yeah. different creatures sort of appears like they're not around though no. yeah i haven't seen anything have you ever shot one before? They're shockingly large. Uh-uh. No, I've just seen them. I primarily saw them through here when I was hunting Thorn the first time. Mm. To be fair, to move logs like this, they kind of got to be large, don't they? Aye, but you know, you see them and they seem like they'd be raccoon-sized. Mm. They're almost deer-sized. Okay, no, why?! <laughs> <sighs> I'm lucky she didn't try and roll. Well, that's rude. They've already vacated the area. Where's this coyote's? Oh, and I. <sighs> that's another thing, as ammo. They've a. Uh... Then I can reduce the grains they're using in production, so it's basically useless in most cases. What is? Your ammunition. You want to kill what? something, it's going to take you so many, so many bullets because they've uh, the, the, the ammo is being made poorly. If I so you got to shoot something twenty-seven times and ruin the hide. Pretty much, uh, especially with beers. What I've heard, I've heard about people unloading. I mean, I unloaded everything into uh, a panther in the swamps. It took so much, I had I had another person start unloading into it, and then it took him down, and then I managed to get it down. Okay. That's a shame. I just wanted to make some beaver stew. Too. Aye, I, I see him in Oangia. I've seen him swimming across the lake there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm frustrated because I wanted to go down to Taipan and ask him about uh, if there had been any, if they'd been able to bring in any pump shotguns or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm standing there at the counter and I'm quite pleased because there's a lot of people around. And then I'll just see Rio standing there in the back and he looks at me and folds his arms. Mm. I walk out of the shop and he starts walking after me, so I just got my horse and got out of there. I got gotcha. Because before yeah. he didn't hesitate to take me out right out of the middle of Valentine with 14, 15 onlookers. Just doing stupid Valentine things, not mm -hmm. paying a single lick of attention to their surroundings. Yep. I don't trust there not to be a cat back here. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna shoot it 500 times and then it'll <laughs> die. Like, we're hoping that the uh, correct the ammunition issues soon but the current shipments are absolute trash so
chafing out on gunpowder trying to make these. Free market my ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go up this way. This is definitely where I've been chased by a cat a few times. anywhere around here you're probably being stalked to some degree <gasps> oh great memories here love this place uh were you there for shooting down creed's people was that it? uh i was the cleanup crew oh joy yeah it's fine got to watch vanderbilt die it's great i'm oh, sorry Yes, that was the cave that Summers brought us in. Yep. I always do like this area down here. It's just uh, so isolated. <laughs> and big cats looking to kill all the team. That's why it's isolated though. <laughs> Aye. At least that's why they're here, eh? Yeah. Can't say I blame them. that oh nice big book just standing right there in mm -hmm. the road just not paying us any mind if you could just turn slightly to his left mm -hmm. oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> So, mm -hmm. what's the love story between you and Rip? What do you mean, what's the love story? I didn't want to know how it happened. <sighs> I mean... Was it the mutual kidnappings that you had in common? I don't think we really had mutual kidnappings until well, after. Well, you have the, the mutual um, habit of getting kidnapped, so... I don't think he got kidnapped. That He's not really been kidnapped. Has he? Uh, I know Thorne did. Thor Thor did. No, she had threatened to get him. No, she did grab him and she branded oh, him behind she? his okay. ear. Aye. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. No, Summers grabbed him and I together, but that was after we already dated. Mm. Let's go up this trail. <laughs> Summers still has his little obsession. What the fuck is wrong with that man? Oh, it is because I lied to him at Pronghorn. Oh. That's how he put it. Because I told him that we would be leaving the area and then we looked around mm -hmm. and wrecked him. Yeah. When they scattered and got out of cover. Uh, let's take that very sharp left. Uh, turn! Okay. Another duel. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. This is a nice forest. No, actually, um, it's sort of bittersweet, but I think that maybe recent events just sort of made Rip realize that life is bloody short. Yeah. Um, so he essentially broke the news to me about Boyd and then a few hours later he's proposing. Hmm. 
How long you been seeing him? Oh, it's been like months. People thought we were dating before we were dating. Oh, really? Aye. We were just friends back then. Which way? I don't think this way seems fine. We're thinking about uh, going up to the the poppy meadows for the ceremony. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. However, we expect the snow to settle in the next week or so. Um, oh. And I'm not sure. I mean, if... it might be pretty though. Aye, so that, that essentially, I think what we're gonna do is wait for the snow to settle in, and mm -hmm. then decide whether or not we want to have it in December, or if we want to wait till it melts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was talking about going to Guarma too, and I'm like, oh, I sort of want to hear how Guarma is in the winter. Because I've heard it's been weird. It's been snowing there while it being tropical, and I. Uh, oh. Mm hmm. Yeah. That doesn't make much sense. Welcome to your Arctic tropical island. I need to. I need to dust my horse down. Sorry. White, the about them white, white horse horses. issues. Yeah. <laughs> See, mine just looks like dirt, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> well, I've got, I've got him, and I've got Odysseus, who's that? Oh um, uh, yeah, the Mustang, right? Uh huh. Yep. Nearly pure white, except for just a few wee patches of chestnut. <laughs> who's in the dark? Aye. Such a pretty boy, a wee bit daft though. Yeah. I think that's kind of all Mustangs. They're like, <clears throat> lights are on, but no one's home. Oh no, I think my Zephyr was pretty smart, although he, uh, he was always a pretty wild boy. Which one was Zephyr? Davy B, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, he is my my um, tiger stripe done. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, I remember him. I haven't had him out for quite some time. I'll tell you that horse has gotten away from me in times of crisis and just disappeared for months at a time. Multiple times. Oh, great. I literally have to go out there, spot him in a herd, and then convince him to come back. Do it all back over uh -huh. again. And you know, he, he's fine once you get him under, under saddle again. It's just a... Uh, First chance he gets, he takes off. <laughs> he just joins up with some herd. So I'm gonna crash at your place for a little while. That's fine, right? Sorry, say that again? He just crashes at their place for a little Aye. while and he's like, it's fine, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey guys, thanks so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. You want to send right and branch some annoying telegrams? Some annoying telegrams? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Wait, hold on. I see long hair under the hat, which... Just... A top hat? No. Wait, that could be Isabella. The, uh... Doctor medic? I know, ex doctor. Aye, that's Isabella. Wait, what do you mean, ex doctor? She, she quit a uh, medic. That so did Lark for that. That. Uh, no shit. Uh huh. Seems like they had quite a few of their older medical staff leave. Wow. Everything's changing and falling apart. Heidi, Isabella. Hello. Hello. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Yeah, that is good, that is good. How are you? Yeah, I am good. I have just woken up. Just uh, was checking telegrams. Nice. Yeah, we were side-eyeing you because we didn't know who you were from a distance. Hi. 
Nein, weil it's just me. Okay, you too. Hmm. Why were you staring at a rifle so hard? Well, um, I was speaking with Amelie earlier, and she said that something that red water is taking to doing is putting red wrappings on their rifles. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I didn't see her having red wrappings on her rifle, um, before. Before. Which is she a wee won't bit get herself killed. Right, well, I mean, if you think if she stopped being certified medical. <laughs> I know she was associated with that leaf before. Alright, so how are you planning on annoying them? Night, baby. Uh, okay, so to annoy right. Uh, we need to insult his ego because he has a large one. <laughs> so, hmm. How do you insult someone's ego who has a deceivingly impenetrable confidence? Just tell him that he's not right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <clears throat> I don't know. I sent him a telegram yesterday, but that was to worry him about the Dilobos. Who knows if the department's gonna try and now, you know, let people know who aren't in the department that they've got to be yeah, watching no, their backs. Yeah, Bank always stays open, no matter how much it snows. I'm gonna need better gloves if this keeps up. Title. You know what's wrong? Message. You're not right. <laughs> You're just gonna annoy him. That's the point. I know. And he'll probably love it as a thing. Oh yeah, a thousand percent. are killing me. <laughs> I need a tree pun. <laughs> How have you been branching out lately? Hey Branch, I hope you're doing fine. <laughs> me a telegram. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Heidi. Okay. <clears throat> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what's happening lately. <laughs> <laughs> I think as though if you're too subtle, you might not realize it's a tree Yeah. One. and shoot some coyotes out here. Actually, first let's grab these wild carrots right here. Okay. <laughs> the 
dad jokes. All right, right here. Ow. Getting kidnapped. What? Your lamp. But frostbite my feet. Oh. Alright. Why am I looking like I have a clue who anyone is anymore? Because I don't. Oh, coyotes! I took me out to Lake Isabella. Made me take off my boots. What is it with criminals wanting to take boots off lately? Well, thank you. Well, the intention the was to try and get me to get frostbite. <clears throat> the dad jokes are my version of the band voice. Oh. Oh. You I, might have I, gotten I, one of them. I don't know if it died. Aye, there's one down. Well, it could be worse. Interested in how you often find these things in pairs, even though I'm pretty sure they prefer solitude. <laughs> Maybe it's just constantly mating season. <laughs> Maybe. Sort of keeping an eye out for another coyote pack. Yeah. It's, oh, it might have been a fox, so over here. No, those are pronghorns. I was gonna Never see. <laughs> and a fox. Oh, these are so tough. Um. You ever just like watch a shot land and it's like it's not? Oh, it's uh, right oh. here. Did it go down? Damn grass. <laughs> I've had multiple occasions where I've shot a rabbit with um uh -huh. with a Schofield or a volcanic, mm -hmm. and even a Lancaster, and had it fall over, then get mm -hmm. up and keep on running. Yep. I don't know what the hell rabbits are built about here, but it's different. Ah, Rio took my handgun ammo, so I don't have any. Okay. Uh, I got some. That's all right. I don't like need it. I just so. Uh, oh, I can't. Can he reload my belt? You my fucking belt. might. I've got. I've got. Uh, I've got nearly a hundred rifle on me. I'm good. Oh, okay. 
That was such a good impression. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the great Scottish buffalo. <laughs> Sorry, Highland buffalo. A healing coo, buffalo. A wee Highland coo. <laughs> River would kill me if I if I wanted buffalo. <laughs> oh, straight head. Going down. There's one in the bushes here. I just heard it go down. I here it is. Rip and I were out herb picking uh, in this area, and we noticed mm -hmm. we noticed there was three people with their horses hitched up on top of this hill, and they were looking through the bushes out towards the road. So we gave them wide berth, but then later, of course, when we were off our horses, uh, they come riding up and robbed us. Of course. And then I had just I had just been shot by um, that nephew of a nephew of Sam Bass and was <laughs> trying to get help in Valentine Medical and one of the robbers who had been standing behind me chatting with his friend mm -hmm. walked back in the room with a mask over his face acting like he wasn't just standing behind me earlier and saying his name and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And then try to go, well, I'm pretty sure that when we robbed you, we told you to keep your mouth shut. Like, you robbed a deputy. <laughs> so whether or not I said anything wouldn't actually matter. And he still tried to go, well, still, it seems like you've opened your mouth. You robbed a deputy. That man yeah, that I was with was a deputy. Rob. Oh, my God. People are dumb. Big dumb. Aye. No, it, the, the last part was... Uh, the fella who was with him said, uh, you know, I've been around for a long time, so I know who's who in the apartment. If you open your mouth and you say anything, I'll know and I'll come back. I'll come after you. <laughs> he said that to Rip. Yeah, I'm sure he's got so many connections like, in the aye, apartment. Because you know that you're talking to senior deputy Rip Riley, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I have so many connections. Don't mess with me. Alright, might as well get these in time. And lock out those checkpoints, but I'm pretty sure the primary use of them has been for outlaws to hide and rob people as they come up. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> Good thing I rarely use roads. When I'm alone, anyway. I say I'm more likely to use them when I'm alone. <sighs> but... <clears throat> it sort of depends, too. Yeah. Because I've definitely gone riding through Scarlet Meadows and taking a fence the wrong way. <laughs> You think that's funny? It's not. <laughs> a little bit. Because I think I know exactly which one it was, probably. Is it by the house with the murder basement? Yep. Mm hmm. That fence isn't even that tall, but some horses just. they can't help but trip over it. 
or just decide that they're gonna run straight at it without uh, jumping. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lara Quiz, she actually <laughs> designed a jumpers course oh. at the logging yard. Mm -hmm. And that thing is brutal death. It is. Oh, God. Because your horses, you, they don't know to jump everything. But if you mm -hmm. try and urge them to jump some things, it'll screw them up. And they'll. Mm. It, it, it's, it's horrible. And you've just got to know from trial and error which jumps the horses will take themselves, which ones they need help with, which ones you can't help them with. <laughs> it's. <clears throat> I, I told her, I said, Lark, I don't think that jumping must work. <laughs> Just give me some barrels. My. But no one ever broke my barrel racing record. I got down to 13.33 on that course before they changed it. So, uh, I mean, technically, no one will break it at that point. Yep. The new course is a lot uh, bigger and over rough ground, so a lot more oh, space for trial and error. Um, my current record on it is, I think, 16, no, 17.06 seconds. So, much bigger then? Aye, it's, it's much bigger. Which is weird, man. Did you want to go run back by Taipan? Sure, although I, I sort of feel like this late at night, there's not going to be anyone there. Yeah, I guess they're it's all sort of late, ain't it? They're all sort of earlier in the day types. Mm. Well, I'll go with you tomorrow if you want. Sure. I'm trying to remember if I was expected to be around any. Hmm. That. Is that. That horse in the lead, is that a Turkman or a fox trotter? Um. G -bus. I think it might be a fox trotter. It could be G-Bus. Yeah, it's too light to be a Turkoman. Oh yeah, I got a pelt. I forgot about that. <clears throat> Do we need to split? I... Uh no, I'm just a... Uh... Let's move away from them. That's kind of what I meant by split. Oh, I thought you meant us oh, splitting up. I was like, oh, I no, prefer no, no, not no, to. No, no. Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Aye, G Bass is uh, Jonathan Devine, who is nephew to Sam Bass. And because Rip was the one who killed Sam Bass, and they know about a relationship, he's promised to kill me at one point. Oh. Because that's always solved problems. Uh-huh. Just circles of revenge. Yeah. It's like, sorry your uncle or whatever was a bastard. I'm wondering, though, if, if uh, the department's on fire right now, because I've not seen a single lawman all night. Yeah, I haven't either. And that was, I saw, I saw Rio in San Denis, so I ran to Telegrams and just sent Rio de Lobo at Taipan Gun Store. Mm. And then I went by the, tele, or by the Sheriff's Office and there was no one. And I went to Rhodes and there was no one. 
I didn't see any when I was in Blackwater either. So they're either all up north or they're all out west. Mm -hmm. J Bass has been riding a. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the grey fox trotter with a dark mane and tail. Mm. And then, uh, well, certainly had a dark mane and tail, and it was uh -huh. lighter. Has lighter than the Turkmen, at least, so. Pretty sure that was your guy. It's sort of, you can see the face. The Turkmen's have dark, dark eyes, mm -hmm. but the fox trotters have brighter faces. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Strawberry? Or I, I figured going towards strawberry. Unless you think somewhere else would be better. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just sort of would like to have eyes on where the law is. And Jay Bass has got this bloodthirsty lass named Josie hanging off his arm. She pretty much forced him into a gunfight with Cash and Weller. Interesting. No, they just fan Cash right down. Leaving Weller so and I to take all four of them down. Basically, if they come starting shit, don't let them shoot first. I definitely know it. No, they're all known for just fanning, using a secret word and fanning. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm hmm Really? It's fantastic? Ha ha ha. Just gonna go right off this cliff real quick. <laughs> Are you sure that pretty pony would let you? Probably not. I mean, you'd think that the Andalusians would have a wee bit of brain on them with all the tricks that they teach them, but who knows? Um. Yeah, no, <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, she definitely called her horse and she was shouting about it. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, I want to ask her something. And live my best life and... Yeah. Emily. Yeah. Uh, remember yes. how you mentioned to me earlier about mm -hmm. red water and having uh, red rabbits on their guns? Mm -hmm. I just came across Isabella out by Emerald and I noticed that she had red rabbits on her gun. I haven't I seen her lingering with them, have you? I have not, but I can tell you this because the, they all chased me down the day before Thanksgiving, or day before ha can I get the fuck away from this? I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like trying to hold a conversation. <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to say something. Here, this rock is a nice rock. So, I actually got chased down by the Red Water Company the day before Halloween. Because, uh,. I was in a Halloween costume and I'm like, well, you know, since all not time is spooky time, I want to, you know, make some fond memories of this spooky, you know, outfit. So 
So I went out to the Heartlands and I was going uh, towards the wheat field and I saw a group towards the wheat field and I went running and they chased after me. I didn't know who they was. I just know there was somebody out there like torturing people, like cutting them open and making them bleed for endurance testing. What? what? Sorry, what? Oh, you didn't hear about that one? I either? was I was near range on Halloween. Holy shit! Apparently, there's a someone going around cutting people open and making them bleed for an endurance test. What? And I thought that might have been them, so I took off running. And they eventually caught up to me, realized who I was, and so I was surrounded by them. And every single one of them had red wrapping on their rifles. But they uh, they realized who I was. They're like, oh, one of them with the gray hair knows me from Mailing Market, apparently. I didn't recognize her though, but she's like, oh, you the cobbler lady. And uh, one of them was like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you're the cobbler lady. Hey, we might the have some more for you. Oh, that's Rick. That's a... No, it was a woman. Aye, that's Rook. Rook. Oh. That's like oh, one of those made-up names, you know? Like didn't a... she used to run with Pale Panthers? Uh-huh, Desmond Pierce. Okay. Desmond Pierce, I'm pretty sure, is her boyfriend or the married or something like that. Mm. And Desmond Pierce is running with Redwater because Morgan Lee. Desmond okay. Pierce used to be Pale Panther people. Well, they gave me a candy bar and let me go on my way once they realized who I was and they didn't bother me. Uh-huh. But... Like I said, I did notice every single one of them had red wrapping on their gun. My, well, that's why I just noticed it with Isabella. <sighs> Since you had mentioned that earlier. Yeah, I know who she is, but I ain't seen her. But I don't get out that way too often anymore. Considering I spend half my time on Gorma these days, too. <laughs> quite the change from strawberry. Huh? I so said quite the change from strawberry. <laughs> the only reason we're up here is because there was a bank robbery in town. Down in Blackwater? Uh-huh. Well, that explains where all the law have gone. Yeah, we were all sitting at the telegram office. I was talking to Abigail, which I'd, I'd recommend you have a heart-to-heart -heart with her, Saffron. I don't think that she wants to talk to me. She just wants to scream at me. Uh, so. Actually, you know, I, I'd like to think that I kind of helped clear the air helping her understand a few things because you and I do have some similarities whenever it comes to way of thoughts and thinking and stuff. But uh, she she doesn't hate you. But yeah, we were all uh, standing around and we heard the explosions and Joey was freaking out something fierce. So we got out of ten, and plus all the dust in the air was making it really hard to see things. Any idea who what group was doing it? I have no idea. There was a group of about six that, uh, they rode by us real slow. And, like, I don't even carry a long arm on my back anymore because I've been robbed so many goddamn times. Mm -hmm. None of us had long arms, so they just rode by, looked at us, and then left town. Uh, Law was in shortly after, and I informed them. I'm like, hey, there's this large group, you know, acting pretty fucking shady, just headed out west. And then I'd say probably about 15 minutes after that is when the explosion went off. Well, probably a good chance it was them, but who knows? Blackwater's pretty popular for that sort of thing, too, so. I don't know, it's a group I ain't never seen before. I uh, do you know there's a gentleman with dark hair, blue coat, and a bright fucking red bandana. And then there was a black gentleman with them as well that, you know, even Abigail thought it might have been, um, oh, what's his face? Did I Jack? No, not Did I Jack. A law member. I can't think of his name right now. Beckwith? Wait, Beckwith? Yeah, Beckwith. We thought it might have been Beckwith, but he's, this guy was too skinny. Hmm. And it wasn't Maurice either because Maurice would have made his presence known because he is a loud motherfucker. And apparently he's at a <laughs> Cisco right now. Maurice or Marquise? Oh, Marquis. Why am I saying Maurice? I think I can. <laughs> I don't know. He said he was holed up in Siska for like two months. I haven't seen him for Damn. ages. Yep, he's out. He's back. He was out and about in Blackwater last night. He was giving corner shit about his, the color of his uh, sweater. <laughs> of course he was. But yeah, I don't know who I was running with the Redwater Company other than like I do know Hawk. And uh 
Hawk, there was Hawk one Morgan. time I was Hawk Morgan uh, Coho or Fox and uh, Desmond and Rook are the ones that I know about I did see Hawk when I was out in Guam on one of my trips and she was by herself I did run into three of them out there but that was before they split from Summers she was by herself. It was really strange. She was uh, talking to the lady that runs a bar up there, Delilah. They call the bar Omens. Great. Yeah. She used to be their little spy, so I'm not too surprised that she was running around solo. Delala or Hawk? Mm-mm, Hawk. Mm. Yeah, because there's Delilah and then there's Charlie. I'm not sure. I just know that when I went to Gorama, I couldn't find anyone. <laughs> it was uh, several lonely days, you know. I'm telling you, you, you come hang out with me sometime. You want to? I introduce right. you to the people. There's always, I always run into people there. Right, well, I know Rip keeps talking about going out there. If we do that, we should try and do it with you just so we can uh, make some connections. I've also been doing uh, some cartography work and uh, connections with the law out there would be actually really helpful. Especially if, oh, I, I know. You know, he's willing to talk and work because uh, I, spent I know the way time, Vasquez runs. I spent a lot of time running around out there, and I discovered a lot of things out there. And all I could think of when they were going over there to try and extradite uh, Captain Gang was, wait, I really hope that some of them have run around that island before too, because there's there's so much out there that you just wouldn't expect to find. Yep. I don't think Kettleman will ever go back there. I know James Kelly is scared to go there too. James Kelly hasn't been heard of from a lo for a long time. Last I heard was he was dying up in the snow. Yeah, that's what I heard too. That he got injured in that whole uh, trying to stop Boone's execution. Oh shit! They executed Boone. They did. Mm-hmm. Nice. Unfortunately, Boone has a nephew, and that son of a bitch is running around and. Why does everyone have a fucking nephew? <laughs> It's like first that everyone was faking their fucking death and now everybody has a nephew. Uh -huh. Who comes up to, to, you know, uh, foster revenge for their uncles. <sighs> yeah, I thought their John was going to be different, but you know, he proved himself otherwise. Why? No, he'd been hanging out, he'd been hanging out with Petey, making good inroads. <sighs> so that's, um... Unfortunately, I only saw him a few times there. Oh. Yeah, he was real friendly with me, too. And then the shit they did Joey. Still can't believe that. This this ranger, Joey Crawford, did, did you know him, uh, Pavs? Mm, the name rings a bell? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Real timid boy. I had to do, yeah, I, he I've, was on a couple little missions we did. I have not known him too much, but everything I've known is he's just a... A nice kid, you know? Mm -hmm. like, yep. He's been being grabbed and tortured non-stop. And being bullied because I had to step in and stop the bullying of uh, Charles Morgan trying to bully Joey around. I was like, fuck this, I'm not having this shit today. <sighs> Done with it. I ain't, I ain't fucking scared to go to Siska anymore either. I'm tired of all this bullshit. Joey's up in the medical uh, lodge right now getting treated. That uh, explosion shook him up something fierce because he said that when it went off, all he could hear was the explosion from the lantern from when Charles Morgan I kidnapped him. him. Yeah, made him hold a lantern and then shot the lantern. What the fuck? There are a lot of sick people. Lacey, as person. if we weren't well, talking I'm about doing that. that but it's like it's gotten worse, and that's pretty impressive and also terrifying at the same time. Uh huh. Pavis, there was a lass who was crucified several days Cru ago. Is she alive? I th I'm not sure. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now you gotta do is read the paper and see all the obituaries in there. Did you remember? 
remember when Creed was doing his thing the first time and he nailed the bodies to the doors and shit? Mm-hmm. And then tried to act like he hadn't done stuff like that for the mm -hmm. next several months. Yep. Crispin's back in the crossing too. <sighs> Is he still weird? How can and you not know? like uh, weird as in, oh, that's he... Crispin, as in I probably have my wife or whatever locked in my apartment. He was all fucked up because he went to Gorma, got attacked by the Gibbon, and got lost. He's He was a mess. The Gibbon? Yeah, there's a Gibbon on Gorma that that's gives uh, It's some sort safe. of small creature that's like 24 inches long or some shit. It, it'll tear your face off, too. <laughs> not if it's only two feet long. And he gave me the name of the given one day, and I told Corn, and Corn like, "Thanks, I fucking hate it." You know what? No, I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna do it. Yep, he named it after graham crackers. Graham crackers? So its name is Graham the Gibbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> That's it. I'm turning into an outlaw and I'm shooting everyone. <laughs> you two are safe, but everyone else is getting a fucking bullet. I'm tired of this shit. We're so angry, Pavis. It's just a cute wee monkey Always thing. Always angry. <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> I've missed you, Pavis. <laughs> You're probably one of the only ones. <laughs> Shit, I ain't seen you since that Wolfkin bullshit went down because I quit the oh Rangers after that. Oh my god, the Wolfkin! I forgot about the Wolfkin! Fuck the Wolfkin, and I'm at the point where I'm just like, pretty much fuck the Rangers, oh too. <laughs> I have no idea what ended up happening with all that, either. I got suspended and punished severely, and it got to the point where I just eventually quit because I couldn't recover from it. Fair enough. And the person that told me to lie to law, she got everything back, and apparently she's gotten several promotions since then, too, so fuck it. Oh, great. Yeah, fuck it. That, that's how that should work. Yep, turned in my poncho, said I'm done, it was the best goddamn decision I've ever made. Joey just recently quit, too. Uh, well, I mean, he sounds like he's had a rough go of it, I don't think I blame him. Uh, he's been tortured by Boone's I, I don't understand um, what they're doing with the Rangers, in all honesty, because they've got the government uh, involved in it, but they don't have... They, they don't get given their weapons or stipends or whatever, but they've got... I don't know, I just feel like they get targeted a certain way, and it's partially due to yeah. their government affiliations, they but no they don't actually get any protections or support. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also like so they just... think that you know, like like law, that the Rangers get their weapons kind of like gift gifted to them. When not true, it's not fucking yeah. true. And that's why I had a two thousand dollar bolt action taken off my back by fucking Boone's boys. Mm -hmm. I ain't never gonna see that. It's been months. That's the thing. Gone. Like you never recover shit like that either. Nope. No, I think especially being told, told, Oh, Boone's don't place. worry, don't worry. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. And like I was hitting up every goddamn gun dealer in the cost crossing that I know. Including the, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Klaus who was running the pawn shop. He's like, yeah, I saw that. Yep. I didn't buy it because I had a telegram number on him. And then he just kind of like disappeared from the crossing. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, thanks. I have a confession to make now that I no longer have a badge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So you remember, I don't, were you in the department when I was investigating flood for weapons trafficking? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... We, we charged him, and he got all pissy, and he got all high and mighty and cocky, and he's like, well, you can't recover guns like I can. And I was like, bet. So, um, these the two people got robbed by Bridget Davis, and I was like, hey, I have a pretty good rapport with Bridget Davis. So, I made a deal with her, and I got the guns back, <laughs> and nobody ever asked me how, and I'm not gonna admit how I did it, but it fucking worked out of spite. I did it purely out of spite. I didn't give a shit about their guns. I did it out of spite. You let, her, you, you let her out of uh, something earlier. I'm yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's exactly what I did. I just yep. remembered Wendy uh... One day what? Sorry. I'm not sure who that group is. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of... Um... Mm -hmm. That looks like it could be Boone's Boys. It looks like it could be 
Mm. I did not see a face that looked like Kentucky That's, Fried Chicken in there, so that wouldn't be Ben's voice. That is the people that were in Valentine. It, it was. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm concerned about. Uh, they circle in. Uh, they go into the general is, store. That is a fox trotter tied to that tree there that they rode in on. Wait, which one? Because that gray fox trotter's mine. No, there's one with a um a shaved mane. He just mm. parked on the tree. I don't think that Jabasa's was roached, though. Could have changed it. I could have. Oh, no, wait. That's a thoroughbred. Never mind. That's that a woman with say, long yeah. braided hair. Never mind. From a distance, it looked like see it. No, I, I can see it now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just uh, I've got a lot of reasons to be on edge lately. Mm -hmm. I'll grab some water. Just pull out her gun. <laughs> He's like, like, you'd make, a, you'd, make a fine, law. you'd make a fine <laughs> law person. I'm like, yeah, no. No, I don't want that. Yeah, that's a whole other battle you gotta fight. I, uh, zero out of ten do not recommend. Yeah, I thought about it for a bit, like, early on, and I was like, no, mm -mm. I mm -hmm. like what I'm doing better. Like, the free weapons are nice. And the gun oil, but, I mean... The gun then oil it goes back to nice. that whole thing, you have to deal with the government. But the gun oil, uh... Has a lot more effective than it used to be so uh yeah but i mean it's not free anymore you know no. but i think i've still got some hidden i'm curious like mm. okay no it's still good is that I a, one too is that a brass plated navy yep nice gold and brown brass oh i like it Ooh, nice Inspired by steam engines. Did you see, Ooh, did you choo -choo. see what I did with your gun, Harvest? Do you want to take a look at it? Yeah, just whip it out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yes, very nice. Very nice. It's I, kind of similar to what I have going on. I sort of am similar. With my a, Navy. This thing was but just I, nothing but a... Uh, Yep, rose gold. Uh -huh. Well, I was I was very broke at the time when I bought that, and so I was like, okay, just... well, I'll just start it time by time. And I was like, the Scoville stocks, I'm going to navies. Oh, navy... oh no, my navy's not. My navy's nickel with green. Nickel. Or no, my, green. my volcanic is nickel with green. Oh, okay. I've got it on another horse because I have like two and a half horses filled with guns at this point. Yeah. Uh -huh. so I, yelled, I yelled at Corner. I said, no more guns, please. Oh, so he keep giving you guns. Yeah. I mean, I got a Litchfield for a wedding gift. <laughs> so yeah, no more guns, please. Okay, so I just heard to buy you a gun for Christmas. Mm, more guns. I just got this. I don't even have to buy one. I can just give you one. <laughs> I got, I've even got some of the good, like I got a pump action too that I'm just terrified Ooh. to wear on me because I'm like, nice. that's going to be gone the minute I put it on my back. Yeah, you got to be careful with those. And I still haven't given it a name either. Oop. Okay, I got more medics here. That's Calvin. I need to take a few moments just to sit down. Uh, I'll be back. Okay.
I'll be back real quick. Oh yeah, I let I let Amelie know <laughs> off stream, sorry. Joey! Have a nice rest. Uh-huh. Joey! Oh, there he goes. Where are you going? Medical office. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just checking gonna, in. Yeah, I was just going to give uh, Callie and Dovey some peanut butter and jam sandwiches because they've never had one before, and I'm about to blow their minds. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. I've had one before, though. Right. Saffron, right? Aye. Okay. I, f I, I feel like I recognize you, but I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pavis. Sorry? Pavis. Oh, oh Pat. <laughs> I have it's been a while. I don't... Yeah, it's definitely been a while. How have you been? Uh, very good. How have you? Well, I've heard a little bit of how you've been, so I guess that's kind of a stupid question. <sighs> yeah. I'm, I mean, still here and standing. True. You're above the snakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got peanut butter and jam sandwiches, so I couldn't also be any true. better. Yep. Yeah. That's good. Have you, I'm, you've been out of state for a bit, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did do you well? <coughs> uh, we'll see. Apparently things have gotten crazier since I've been gone, so. Yeah, it's... Yeah. 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 Yep. It's not one thing, it's another. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know, I feel like six months ago, people like you weren't getting snatched and harmed every other day. Uh, yeah. Yep, and now I get snatched and harmed twice in one week. So, I don't know yeah. how that is, so... Sorry. Thank you. Best thing to do, just don't, don't think about it, right? what I like to think, but it's I have to said than done. Right myself, so. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go drop these peanut butter and jam sandwiches off before they get stale. Yeah. Alright. All right. Mm. If y'all are still here, I'll, I'll come back and talk. Alright. Alright. Ah, poor kid. Hi. Yeah. Apparently the reason behind Mason James is I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Apparently he was like his parents were done wrong by law. So they're taking the torturing rangers instead of law. It, I'm like, what? That makes so much sense. Well, he was running around with Austin Grant, who was hurt and why. Who... Austin Grant's dead, too. I know. Uh, well, I, he, he murdered Briard and they executed him that night. That was, was not his first attempt on it.
Then Boone's boys, they's petty as fuck. You know why they scalped Joey? They did what? They what? Dude, that was the first interaction. They scalped Joey and glued his mouth shut because they pulled a bank robbery and took Joey and Josie as hostages. And Joey recognized Boone's voice and said his name to the law. So they hunted Joey down, scalped him, and glued his mouth shut and dragged him what back into town fuck? by a rope. And they've been doing shit like that ever since. They took out Eleanor's eye with her own badge and they cut off Martha's ear. They're a lot more disgusting than I thought that they were. Mm hmm. You can see Maverick a mile away because his face looks like KFC. What? <laughs> oh, Brick? Yep. Yeah. Fucking. Uh. Prince. He's like if he fell into a pit of ground beef. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's... That's quite a visual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm not wrong, am I? Um, no. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't think I've got a good look at his face when he robbed me right up there uh, on top of that hill. It's it's bright fucking red. It looks like fried chicken skin. <sighs> That's just kind of making me hungry, Abigail. I'm not Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I just do it this last time I was round two. There's two A, a names. I'm gonna okay. run and cook this meat really quick before I die. Okay. Fried chicken skin? Right. No. Make sure you fry it. No. Okay. Watch me get kidnapped for cooking some steaks. A hundred feet away from everyone. At least this time if something happens, people will see you. Yeah, you'd hope, right? That would be ideal. Right, Pav is just a little bit more observant than your average Joe, probably. You know, uh, at least that time I had the reassurance that if someone came to kidnap okay. me while I was cooking, uh, paths would probably That's see that it. group that that was that group that came in. <laughs> what was the group? What they do? Uh, the ones that came in and kind of oh. lingered up there near the jail. Uh huh. That's them leaving. Mm -hmm. We don't know who they are yet. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Just suspicions. Well, I was saying mm -hmm. I, I had a wee bit of confidence going down there to kick that I wouldn't get kidnapped this time because at least Pabs would probably see it. And at, <laughs> at least, least Pabs would somebody, probably shoot him. At least Pabs would, well, I mean, probably at least let the law know. But I maybe shoot them. Who knows? What, you're probably saying I wouldn't would let shoot. the law know? Okay. <laughs> I would no. shoot and let the law know. <laughs> oh, that's a bad idea here. That's a bad idea. Okay. Amelie, yeah. I was, yeah, you'd actually fall in. Amelie, yeah. I was taken by that Delobo. Out of this, you know, the camp in Valentine, like the one yeah. at the end of the. I was sitting there cooking oat cakes, and he came up and he started talking to me, and then he pointed a gun at me for a good long time with 14 people milling around in the background. One fella came up and looked like he was going to oh steal my, my horse, shouted, I'm not involved in this, and ran away. <laughs> That's fucking Val ridiculous. I hate Valentine, Valentine anyways. And, and, fucking sucks. And when Law found me after hiking a day and a night through the snow without shoes on. They found me in Big Valley and they weren't even looking for me. Because they didn't even know that oh I've been taken. Because nobody said anything. Yeah, no, people used to run around about here now with, I know I'd shoot. Pavis would mm. shoot. <laughs> yeah, you don't Joey would to run to the telegram office and go get law. <laughs> well, I, I, I would shoot if I could feel my fucking hands right now. 
that's why the telegram is your job. <laughs> that Emily yeah. and I will just yeah. run after him shooting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Valentine's the worst place to like run into bad people. That that creepy lady uh, that was trying to lure me to that river, she was talking to me in the Valentine Bank, being all weird and creepy, and I, I, I don't know. I clearly did not look too comfortable, and every person who would come in was just like, "Y'all have a good day," and didn't even do or say anything. So yeah, yeah, Valentine's fucked. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the people that run around in Valentine. Mm -hmm. It's a cursed town. It's just the best place for me to go make uh, oat cakes. Most convenient. Uh, Why? Because the fire is right there next to the butcher, and it takes a lot of animal fat. Right oh. Now, even Blackwater's been kind of fucky lately. Right? Rip just telegram me. That's him standing right there. How are you doing? Wait! Rabbit got hurt today? Rip? What happened, Rabbit? Uh, Mason. Mason? James? Yes. What did he do? Uh, something up in the... snow, I believe. We had a group out there looking for him. I don't know all the details, though. I woke up, like, five minutes and then get told about it briefly in Valentine. That was you down at the, uh, down by the river? I was over there talking to Joey Crawford, Pavis and Emily. Hmm. Wait, Pavis? Aye, she telegrammed me out of the blue today. She's back in state for now. You come say she hi down there now? Aye, she is. Yeah, sure. A hundred dollars, she says something about my beard. <clears throat> How about you just walk up and you don't say who you are and see if she recognizes you? Like, don't say anything. Pretend you're from Mexico again. Fuck. Here, let me out. Uh, uh, don't be so close to me. Woke up a moment after. Yes. About selling peach cobbler. And she moved back the roads because she missed her mama. Oh, you meet your man. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Wait, what? Hola. Did I just walk back in? Adelaide Roach has oh, an advertisement yeah. selling peach cobbler, and she moved back the roads because she missed her mama. So you're being very observant there, Pavis. I miss my mama. Why the fuck are you two wearing the same hat? Because <sighs> he stole my hat. Pretty much. Steal it back. Well, there goes the Mexico thing. <laughs> I told him to use a different voice and see if he, if you realized it was him. Yeah, oh well, my his God. hair and his beard still mismatch, so <laughs> good job on that one. Saffron, after the winter comes, clean that man up for fuck's sake. Yeah, why do you look like a hobo, Rip? What happened? <laughs> wow. I just won $100. What? <clears throat> what? what? Don't, don't worry about it. Um, Rip, you look good with that. What do you mean you just won a hundred dollars? Did I not make yeah. a bet saying that she'd make a comment? Wait, I didn't say that I was taking the bet. <laughs> <laughs> I made a full on bet, a hundred dollars, she'd make a comment All right, about it. Give me a hundred dollars. Well, you I'm haven't kidding. answered my question, so why do you look like a fucking hobo? See, hey, I'm it's not the, the winter. only one that thinks you look like a hobo. <laughs> the winter. I, I look like a mountain say, man. I mean, I like, I like the beard. Put, put, it, it he's, he's always got the beard. No, it's no, bigger no, than it used to be. All, all you need is hair pomade. I do trim it. No, 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 don't. No, 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 no. Why? It's, I hate it's, pomade. No, it's not good with this, with the way his hair is. It's not. 
it, no. Okay. No. Okay. It can't be any worse than it is now. No, trust me. No, it, lo I, it looks better. I want to see it. I don't. I've seen it f far I too do. many times. <laughs> well, good thing you don't have to. There's no mirrors here. That's true. Just don't look <laughs> yeah. into the water. <laughs> they make <laughs> Don't look into her little conchos, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good to see you too, Pavis. <laughs> like, so, um, the, the reason why he said, uh, Ola when he came up was he took a, he took a trip to... Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even hear him say Ola. <laughs> he took a trip to Mexico. Uh-huh. Impromptu. By accident. Oh. Mm -hmm. So he actually okay. took a trip to Mexico. I accidentally bought a horse at auction. I got a telegram. See you two are making up stories together now. Wait, no, okay, no, that's not true. I got I got a telegram from the police commissioner of all of Mexico saying that they were deporting him. <laughs> so, for context. We went down to the <laughs> San Luis River on the Teca Falls because we got reports that there was somebody injured. <laughs> Myself and another deputy, we crossed over the, by the waterfall where you can get to the little spit of land. And as we're coming back, the horse decides to buck us off. And we go... Oh no. Gingerly floating down the entirety of the San Luis River. I think that the... that... like, eat to 12 people um, got lost in the river. I remember the ranger oh, saying there's at least eight, including some rangers and more deputies. And some people more than once. Yeah. Yeah, Joey did awkwardly tell Saf he was... But everyone's like, accounted for, yeah. I think. No? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, uh, yeah. That spent doesn't sound seven... like a very sure yeah. We spent seven days on the water. Uh, we wound up on one of the shores of Mexico, and uh, a small fisher family found us, myself and Kennedy. Thankfully, they, uh, I, I... Pavis, do you remember, uh, Diaz? Coyote? Mm, yeah, he was a criminal, right? Uh-huh, he's a deputy now. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I still can't oh, believe that. Oh, the news keeps getting better for you, doesn't it? It really does. It's fantastic. You know, I when I left, I was like, it can't get any worse than this. And I came back and it's like, guess what? You stupid bitch. It did. <laughs> it, was, it was, guess what? All these people you knew are now dead. And also, I... Yes. And Everyone the... is dead. And then everything is also worse. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm st uh, uh, I can't... El Coyote was the first person to rob me in the crossing after we went fishing for three hours together. I'm so sorry. You took him fishing for three hours and then he well, robbed you? Because he was like, my mother's dying, you have to help me, I need a dinero. I'm like, I, I'm just I'm going fishing if you want to come with. I can, we can get you a rod and we can fish together and whatnot. And he fished for like three hours. He got frustrated because he couldn't catch one fish and he started shooting them. And while he was still shooting the fish, I was still catching salmon. And I filled up a whole crate, and I was going to go to Blackwater with him and split the profit, but mm -hmm. on the way there, he robbed me of my crate, my fish, my guns, my money. Joey, all due respect, I uh, I think you're too nice, bud. I, Do you remember whenever I, I you took some rangers so out to see Landon and started shooting up the, the Lobos there? <laughs> what? I'll be right back. <laughs> what? <laughs> did not hear that. <laughs> of his crate, his fish, yeah, uh, his uh, guns, there was one of them, I don't remember who else, but yeah. He just the rangers popped came out because he wanted to go see something. And he ended up going to Thieves Landed and he started to fight with the Del Lobos there. Oh. Uh -huh. The local ones, you know. I bet that didn't end well for him, did Almost it? got everyone killed. <laughs> Jesus. And now he's a fucking deputy, for fuck's sake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow. What a strange world we live in. Have you, you know what you should really do is ask him if he'd uh, consider compensating you for your loss and pain and suffering now that he's making that deputy paycheck. 
Oh, that's a good one. That's true. Yeah, you can. Honestly, guilt trip him. you really should. Maybe. In fact, I mean, I'll happily do it on your behalf. He's he's already fucked up again. Where it was like three in the morning, and I was in Strawberry, and he sent me a telegram saying, "Urgent, you must come to Saint Denis now. We need to speak with you." I fucking ride my ass over there and get to the telegram office, and he's like, uh, "Come with me to the sheriff's department." I go over, and then I come inside, and he's like, "I'm so sorry, I telegrammed the wrong person." <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I yeah. absolutely say hey you remember that crate full of salmon that you robbed off of me I mean really mm -hmm. make up a, a cost sheet and give it to him what oh it, like, I think it was like 200 to eight? 300 yeah depending on how big the salmon is yeah mm -hmm. well plus the crate plus the fish in my pockets plus yeah. the money on me plus the oh, guns yeah, that's on what me I'm plus saying. your time literally yeah. tally it all up uh -huh. and invoice Aye, give him an invoice because that's honestly right. I think that would be the bare minimum for criminals who go straight and decide to join the department is that they would yep. uh, make restitution. Make uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. That. <laughs> did you hear? Did you hear all that rip? No, he just got back. He no, didn't I, hear I, the I, damn so thing. So apparently, oh. Coyote, aye, Coyote robbed him of his. After fishing and... uh -huh, after going fishing with him for three hours, Joey, you know, kindly took him and was going to split the, the profits with him, even though he did all the work. Coyote relieved him of his guns and money and all the fish. Which is just... I mean, pulling and, the socks. And, and he fucking tied me up, threw me on the back of my horse, and punched my horse. <laughs> Pull him aside. I absolutely. He, I'm, I'll back you. In that. You should. He's he's got money now. There's no reason he can't be making restitution for that. He is probably one of the few deputies who is very uh, very much against sh shooting. He really prefers really? to use his words. Well, he can use his words with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In a bank. <laughs> and tell, him to tell her to hand over like five hundred dollars. Well, what what mm -hmm. guns did you have at the team? Uh, fuck, probably like a Schofield and a Lancaster. Absolutely, just demand a thousand dollars from him. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <sighs> That'd be for your time, your guns, your money, everything. Right. Yeah. I have his telegram. Should I just telegram him now? Then? Well, I would. I would go and invoice. I would. I would list out everything and how mm -hmm. much it cost. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, I know. Grateful seven. So that's eight times. We'll just round up to twenty. Um. And then I would definitely uh, capitalize on your recent misfortunes, and that he right. should definitely feel bad about it. And and currently. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the state my hands are in, I, I can't even fish at the moment. So, right. And I can also bring up the fact that he dragged me all the way to Saint Denis one night, um, and <laughs> he felt very bad about it. And he, he. I've 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 uh, figured out how you can make it up to to me. And late as you're you know, new position right. and success with the department. Okay. <laughs> you know. In light of your new position and success in the department, um... I would like to ask for using... a presentation for previous misdeeds. <laughs> for all the pain, okay. suffering, and emotional trauma you have mm -hmm. caused me. Mm-hmm. I have finally figured out how you can <laughs> pay um, me back, literally. Yeah. Just restore your good name, sir. Yes, yes. I that's a, definitely Restore your reputation with me. <laughs> okay. 
I think we got the ball rolling on that one. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. My I did nothing, but you were so welcome. <laughs> no, you were you were emotional support. <laughs> Keep me updated because uh, I I think people should be banding together behind you. If, if I'm you... sure I'll hear about him. <laughs> I'll <laughs> fucking bully him. What do you mean? You'll you can tell him that. you will be like, Pappas will bully you, and he can figure out what that means. Someone will tell him. Well. <laughs> He'll tell him. Uh, you, you don't get involved, Rip. We don't need a interdepartmental either. I haven't said but, anything this but... entire time, but I'm sure I'll hear about it. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. My last interaction with Coyote, was that he was telling me, he goes, don't worry, I will find, come find you later, rescue and take you to Sisica. Just kidding, I love you. Yeah. Because I was I was running, I was running up to Strawberry here, and we came around the turn, and we were both going, you know, pell-mell in the same direction and almost hit each other and actually knocked him off his horse. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I oh, I'm also... sorry, I'm sorry. And he's like, don't worry. I will come find you later, we rescue and send you to Sisica. Gets on his horse I... and he's running away. Just kidding, I love you. Ha. The final thing I can put at the end of that telegram is, finally, uh, you cannot call me Jose or call Josie Jose. What? Oh, it's, I'm man. pretty sure it's the, the Spanish or Mexican I version know, of Josie. Just who you said it. Just, Jose and Jose. You can't call her Jose yeah. anymore. <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty fair deal. Oh. Yeah. Rabbit? It's alright. Just trying to be more like you, Saffron. I apologize. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait, wait, don't. Wait, why are you saying that? It's just a joke. Don't worry about it. Ah, jokes are good for the soul. You're on your feet. Yeah, well, fortunately, this time I the maniac in question didn't attack my feet, so I got that going for me. Sorry. Nah, it's not your fault. Well, I know that, but but I said sorry to you yesterday, so fair is fair. <laughs> I suppose so. How are you feeling, by the way? I mean, my feet are sore. But I'm okay, I just feel paranoid. Yeah, paranoia, that's a good one. <laughs> but, uh, Pavis right here, though, if you want to say hi. Oh, I must be dead in that case. No, 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 no. No, clearly, clearly I fucking died. No. Clearly oh, this yeah, is just the doing, worst hallucination. How'd, how'd you fuck, how'd you dare to fucking pronounce that? Sorry. <laughs> you add I a, think you a, heard me. You had a, a second fucking vowel to the, the first syllable oh, of my name. I can't do it. I'm laughing now. You fucked it up. Yeah. Fred's gonna punch anyone, it's gonna be me. Why does he look like a hobo? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rip Riley don't look like a hobo. Hobos look like Rip Riley. Oh. Ooh. Wow. I, I'm not gonna fall apart if you shake me too hard. You might. No. <laughs> Rip! Now he really looks like a hobo bathing in a river. It's the St. Louis River all over again. He's... Oh, there he goes. I did that earlier <laughs> past you and you didn't even notice it. But, um... I was wondering why you were wet when you came back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's the same Louis all over again. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> is there an echo in this? Oh, yeah, yeah, there oh, is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you. Now I'm in the <laughs> It really is the same movies all over again. Wow. Personally, I love the clown act in Strawberry. I... How have things gotten worse since I left? Worse? What do you mean? We're in our fucking prime. Yeah, you look <sighs> it. You speaking is hurting me. Yep. I just want to beg you to sit down and take it easy. I'm probably not working for a while. Probably not leaving Strawberry for a while, actually. Been there, done that. Might lift your spirits to hear the topic of discussion before you worked up. Oh boy. <laughs> What's that? Well, um, Coyote, back when he was a criminal, first person he met was Joey Crawford here, who kindly took him out fishing for three hours. Uh, Coyote apparently didn't contribute to the catch at all and got frustrated and shot fish while Joey caught all the fish. And then Joey intended to take him back to Blackwater and split the profits with him anyways because he's a kind person. And Coyote then proceeded to rob him of his crate, his fish, his weapons, and his money, and make off. And it just seems like the only thing appropriate for a criminal turned woman to do, if there's people who've been wounded by their past behaviour, is make some sort of restitution, especially when it's something as simple as financial. But, um, that'll be a discussion between him and Coyote, I suppose. Basically, Saffron is Joey's lawyer at this moment. Uh, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> I do feel like I just got, like, served a notice. Yep. <laughs> no, not you, Coyote. <laughs> ah, just as his employer, it feels yeah. like. I, yeah. As his commanding officer. And what brings you back to the crossing? Shenanigans. She wanted to buy you a pretty pony. A <laughs> glutton for punishment, apparently. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what we got in spades. Yeah, sounds like it. This marks my ninth serious injury in the department. I lost count of what number you were on by the time I left. It was only like five when you Oh, only, f only five. A lot of folk have had worse than me. I'm not fit to complain. That's true. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people have died. What? Yeah, a lot. <sighs> Hopefully not all over the shop. I got a reunion to our graves to visit. I guess you do too now. Yep. Like I was just telling some of the fresh deputies today, everybody that I trained with, Everybody I came up with went dead, corrupt, or had to leave one reason or the other. It's insane. But you're right. Yeah. Well. I'm cheery as fucking never, as you can see. I don't think you have the chance to meet- Did you meet Briar Pathos? I don't recall. Yeah, I did. You did? She was just a deputy when I was around. I, uh, sort of... briefed her on... the recent losses. No. Oh. But that son of a bitch got his. At least one of them did, I guess. I gave pretty good to Mason James, too, as well. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. The one that did this to me. Wait, did you... What? Did you shoot him? After this? <laughs> or... A fucker took me at gunpoint while I was, uh... Writing my, uh... Writing my book. Wow. And he, uh, 
made me, like, took my guns, made me throw my coat on the ground, and uh, forced me to take him somewhere quiet. And he carved what he considers to be my sin into my arm with a knife laced with uh, some kind of poison. What on earth? And told me that he wanted me to die slow. I called him a coward. I said he wasn't a warrior. I said he couldn't take me in a fight. So he threw me my gun. And I dropped him. Good. Do we know if he's dead? Well... First thing he did after I brought him there on my horse was kill my horse in front of me. We were up so far and so far away from everything that, uh, well, I put him down and I tried to start dragging him, but this arm ain't good for nothing. Couldn't hold a gun, certainly can't really support the weight of a fucking asshole. Oh god, please don't kick me. Oh my god, please don't kick me. I dragged him by his legs a bit further up into the stone I was gonna pack his wounds and then I just thought actually fuck it so uh he said you really want to bring me in don't you well too bad when I put in he's gonna kill you before you get help and I said, in that case, Mason, both of us are dead. See you around. And I left him there. Well, with any luck, the wolves got him. Uh, deputies went up. Said they couldn't find a body, but they found a lot of blood. He's still alive, then. So, I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna go with still alive. There's no body, there's no death. That's one thing that I've learned. Yeah. I certainly wouldn't trust him. But. Mountain ain't kind. The people that fuck around on it. Most folk that draw blood up there needlessly get their comeuppance pretty quick. That's my fun story for the day. I'm just glad that you made it down. It was that he made you throw your coat away where you up in the snow. He took me from that boat to the uh, hills overlooking Coulter. Jesus fucking Christ. I was probably without a coat for 20, 30 minutes up there. Lucky he didn't freeze to death. Oh, this mm -hmm. vest is decently warm. Kind of regretting the choice in gloves, and I lost my fingertips. Oh, God, get my feet checked to see if I've got frostbite. Bad. I got a few superficial patches on my face, and a little worse on the hands, but. I was walking down through the whiteout when Anya found me. Anya? Yeah, I'm sure you remember Anya. Um. She, um... She was the one that found me, too, after Mason. I don't know if I know her. Well, she's a Russian lady that lives up on the snow. 
Or is it deer head? Wait, that one? Who was shooting at us that one day? I don't remember being shot at by anybody. Right. Because if I did, I'd probably have to arrest that person. Uh-huh. I definitely didn't shoot anyone. Yeah, that's how I remember it, too. <laughs> that's how everyone here remembers it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And even if we did, I'd say it was uh, more of a duel between two uh, mutually consenting parties. <laughs> what, Chief? Regardless, she and I are friends. In fact, I spoke to her about half an hour before this all happened. Her main interest is protecting folk on that mountain. She ain't a bad soul. And she saved more travelers than, uh... Well, at least some of the rangers. I'm sure if you're living up there... It's good to have allies, what can I say? She's helped me keep an eye on the folk over at the lagoon. Amarok, Wendigo, Bear. Mm Someone say something. Christ. Something. Christ. <laughs> Sorry, I was just... <laughs> no. It's fine. Freaking poor Joey. I've never seen him. someone morosely eat a sandwich before. <laughs> While you're looking at it. You fucking tell me. Do you have any more you can share, Joey? I got three Maybe minutes. for the whole Maybe class, Groff? Yeah. Maybe she'd like yeah. one? Would you I don't need one? a sound. I'm, fi I'm fine. Thank no, you. No, I think you need one. <laughs> I don't want Actually, no, I think, I think or... Joey's right. I think you could do with a, a peanut butter and was the it jam. The image, the image jam, is sharp yes. when we're sadly eating a fucking peanut butter sandwich. Sadly. As opposed to sadly happily. standing by a tree trunk holding their arm. Very, feeling very personally attacked. That's just a cherry on top of the cake. I mean, if if that's not your cup of tea, I got chalky milk or a vulture egg or a. Do you have anything that adults eat? Well, he did say a vulture egg. Are you walking around with, with, like, with, like, with like, sandwiches with the I, crust cut off and a bottle I mean, of chocolate I, milk? I no. gave him the vulture egg yesterday, and the only way you can. Well, I don't know if you can get him here in the crossing. I don't go out west. out west. Yeah, I don't fucking go out west. I'm smarter than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I brought this one back from Gorma, so. If I sat, mm -hmm. if I sat in the saloon in Tumbleweed and just drank a bottle of chocolate milk, that'd be a very specific power move. <laughs> 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 or <You're not> wrong. <laughs> you can drink a bottle of Gorman rum. I try to steer away from the drink when I can these days. Okay. That's fair. And the stuff Joey's got is the stuff I've been making. Oh yeah, I drank oh. down and it hit me harder than a fucking shine. <laughs> I've been, I've been All working I'm with the distillers out there. I, I, I really All wish you warned me. All I'm is chocolate I, milk for everyone. Be back. I'm on medication. Listen, these days. That Emily's got to put up with pointers. She got...
can actually stack these two to now, which is nice. That's funny. Wait, what's funny? What I miss? That I was using my trigger finger so much I had to protect it, and that's why my gloves are the way that they are. You know, it's funny because my new Austin outfit, the trigger finger is the only thing that's ex that's exposed, really. Oh shit! I just thought that's, of something that's too. That's the way I preferred. Because I was remember back whenever I well, gave I'm, you that rum. I'm good, thank you. No, you're mm -hmm. gonna take it. And I, the funny thing good. is, I'm... Rabbit, is that fella that robbed me, robbed the ever living shit out of me when I was going to Guarma, showed up on the fucking boat. Uh, here, have a. That's probably why Rip won't take a bottle from me. All right, I'm gonna take oh. this peanut Lord butter sandwich and a bottle of milk, and I'm gonna go okay. crawl in a bed. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You sleep well, Rabbit. Yeah, I'll see y'all later. Yeah, hey, rest well. See you, Rabbit. Nice seeing you again. Nice knowing you exist, Pops. Yeah, that reminded me is the uh, the fellow that robbed the ever living shit out of me. Because mm -hmm. I was on my way to Gorman. I had extra money on me to deposit into my little stash over there. Mm -hmm. Robbed me of $900 as well as my guns. <sighs> Fuck. Wow, nice. And a Bastille card deck. And I was on the boat. The Gorp, well, Gorp, Rabbit gave me 500 to help compensate the money lost. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was on the boat waiting for, you know, the boat to come in. That son of a bitch showed back up on the boat. I had my gun to his head the entire fucking time till it was ready to go. Took my cards back because that was the only thing he had left on him. <laughs> I never, I never reached into anyone's pockets before before that, so I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> but I got my cards back, and they was a gift to El Capitan. So, thief? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> vigilante. I mean, I would have gotten a vigilante charge, but fuck it. I didn't shoot him. Just got my cards back, and then eventually got my gun back too. I don't care anymore. So. <sighs> He I'm took sure a carbine repeater off me. Okay, but was that your things. your your uh, rose gold and black one? Yeah. <sighs> oh god, so an expensive carbine. Mm. Never mind. All they're right. actually but still pretty a carbine good. repeater. Aye, but they're still good. True. They're actually good. Okay. In fact, these days they're putting down rules better than pretty much anything else. Yeah. But, well, Gavin. Sad. Even Gavin Summers eyed up that gun, and he's like, "Give me one reason." Why I shouldn't take that gun from you, I said, because it's a carp I repeat, and he just growled at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just his breathing, though, to be fair. <laughs> I think he was just breathing thoughtfully. He, he was exhaled. he was deeply thinking, yeah. is it yeah. worth it for me to to steal mm. a $48 gun from me and get the charge? <laughs> no, they maybe gift my navy to Evangeline Thorne, though. Yeah. <sighs> they did what? Uh, what? Made me gift my navy to Evangeline Thorne. Yeah, so they robbed you of your... Yep. I... And all the wheat I had picked because mm -hmm. I was out there picking wheat and they showed up because they was picking wheat too. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not going to show no fear. I'm going to keep picking wheat because fuck it. So as you've heard of Pavis, the great Gavin Summers reduced to highway robbery and moonshining. Yep. How the mighty have fallen. Pretty much. Man, you really ruined his confidence when you brought him down like that. It just destroyed his whole life. Well, that's probably why he took me and drugged me and did everything like that. Yep. <laughs> I yeah. brought down Gavin Summers. He you heard it here. Anymore. Well, that's what happens when you get a band of mercenaries and you run out of money and you don't pay them. They're not loyal to you. Big surprise. Uh, from what I heard, Peter Gray's loyal to him now. <laughs> That's to, such a boon. To Summers? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And what? Summers is also running around with Thorn. Great. 
That's yep. fantastic. Thorin's in Sisica for a very long time though, so she won't be bolstering whatever it is he's doing right now. Although she was yep. also running around committing petty robberies with a what's his face? Bloody hood now, did I Jack, so Yeah. Well, she did that for a long time up until suddenly she didn't. Mm-hmm. Then I was there when she took Abigail. Because I, I still kick myself in the ass for that because I had like two seconds before realizing who the fuck they was. I could have drawn on them. Instead, I got my ass ripped and tossed to the fucking ground and thrown on the back porch. She's still riding that Arabian? I've seen her on a... Like a Brindle Arabian? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. the, the Warp Brindle Arabian, but she's also been on a... The Grey... Uh, Turkmen. And okay. I know that uh, her follower, I was told her name's Isa. Uh, short, gray hair, big fucking wide pants. Hmm, okay. So she does have followers now. She's got two. When I've been told. It's been a second. She's got at least two. My, that's why she threw that knife in my leg last week. Was... I don't have to worry about her now. Apparently she's in Siska for a bit. Nice. Howdy, Rip. I drink your chocolate milk because you wouldn't accept it. Oh. Oh. How dare you not accept the chocolate milk? I, Rude. I, I don't. Okay. Rude, hobo. Okay, but you're calling him a hobo. That's. that's... You're not but a hobo. No, I call you're him not, a rude You're hobo. not a hobo. I'm not calling you a hobo, so don't. Tell me later that I'm bullying you because I'm not. Mm -hmm. No, I, I I am bullying you. Pavis is she she's always yeah. gonna bully. True. It's just been one thing after another. It's okay. Winter winter will come and go, and then he'll be able to like trim up and look Listen, like himself again. It could be worse. I could be shooting at you. Would you prefer that? Do I need to go like try to figure out how to rob a bank or some shit? She could. She could. Is do this the, the the final chapter of the story? She could do the O'Neill, uh, uh, Wesley Shields, uh, yep. snow thing. Snow. Uh huh. <laughs> final <laughs> chapter of the story is you. Oh no! Branch, what I told Saffron right. earlier. What I told Saffron earlier is that I was gonna go join the Del Lobos since Snow joined Redwater. <laughs> Wait, Snow joined which Wait, Snow? What? Julian Snow. What? Yep. He's He's back? He's trying to get his badge back. <laughs> Was. <laughs> oh. Guess he couldn't take the way. <laughs> is that is that how they put it? <sighs> oh. I don't know, and he never felt like a very committed person to me. He, oh. he could be so good at investigations, but but everything else, his uh, attitude was just kind of duty well, garbage. I'll just never forget getting into that tussle with Kyla Lean and and her group, and mm -hmm. getting shot down, and then while they're debating whether or not they should take Rabbit and I with them, he's he's just you know I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna kill you and. Bl well, he's down and bleeding inside Wallace Station. Oh. <sighs> that was... Yeah, I feel like I remember you ranting about that. Mm -hmm. No, hmm. Rabbit. After rabbit. it happened. If, if we brought it, well, ra Rabbit here, she, she would have ranted on and on about it. So Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that was the reasoning, one of the reasonings for not letting him back in the department. But he's also one of those um, who is very susceptible to Peaches' as whales. Because <sighs> she's still around and uh, worse than ever, riding with every oh, other great. criminal yeah. group. Well, that's that... what she was doing anyway. So mm -hmm. yeah, she, well, she but was now she shoots it. people. I'm pretty sure. Well, oh, great. She was dating Edwin Braithwaite, and he was another one mm -hmm. on the list of like I faked my own death. Yep, I remember that. 
Well, we've coined the uh, the group name for her, the uh, the plus one gang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. She, she's just, she's just the plus one, wherever she goes. I think it's her and a, a couple other individuals who just tag on to anybody and everybody. <laughs> wow. I feel like there's, it's mostly Catman remnants now, because, where, where's has Catman been in prison all this time? I mean, he's just sort of fallen off the face of the earth. That one gang's kind of gone. Good. No idea where he'd, where he'd be at. Hmm. Last I saw him was after we extradited him from Gorma. Probably still in Kevin. Mm, you could stay there. <laughs> Aye. About time. Uh, be right back. Where are they? Howdy. Great, this looks... How y'all doing today? Doing alright. This is from Benedict Point. Nice seeing you again, if, even if ever so briefly. I took a look at some properties today. You and I still have a lot to talk about. There are only six names left unaccounted for on my list. Soon I'll know them all, but you were the first and we'll meet again. You okay? I need to go talk to a woman. Well, What's happened? there happens to be one right here. Well, it's better if I don't involve it gotcha. in stuff. Mm. <sighs> it's that, that Del Lobo I got a telegram from him from Benedict oh. Point. Same. Uh, it was nice seeing you again, even if ever so briefly, because I walked into Taipan Gun's door and he was there. So as I take a look at some properties today, you and I still have a lot to talk about. There are only six names left unaccounted for on my list, so I'll know them all, but you're the first and we will meet again. Was Taipan in the gun store when he was in there? Aye, they were. He they were doing business? He was walking out the back room. Good to know, inform corner. Which he's. I was just going down there because right now. I'm on good terms with Taipan. What is all that thundering? Rangers riding out. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm on good terms with Taipan very... too, but I still keep an eye on them. I just feel yeah, like... you can't trust them. I, I I just well. Given some conversations I've had with him, I'm. I have a fair certainty that if I were to run into trouble while in Sandini, they would they would back me up. But it, uh, I'm not sure if if they've got Dolores walking in and out there. But then again, I also don't know who knows who he is. I did let Law know as soon as I saw him, but <laughs> Rip, you're pretty much the only lawman I've seen all day. We got the urban experience. Yeah, there's not many on duty. I think recent events got a lot of folks needing uh, rest. Okay, I'm gonna send a telegram to them then. 
that I need to discuss. than Shaw grabbing myself. And even then, I wasn't even there. Yeah. Are you talking about people who were there? The people that would have uh, a clue into him. I just hope that the files about it have been tucked away so that they can't grab a random woman mm. and force them to dig the files out and get the list. Way ahead of you. Good. Okay, but there's not going to be t t too many of us who know the list. And I mean, yep. uh, uh, truth, tr very truthful. I, I can't even remember every single person who was there that day, so that's just I said, lot. most of them are dead, gone, or... Oh, I definitely... I'm just going to say I don't know any. I'm just going to keep saying that. Mm -hmm. Or just tell them everyone's dead and gone. I told them a lot of them died, and I told them that um, it was a long time ago, and I kind of remember everything. I exchanged, I exchanged my refusal for that, essentially, by giving my full involvement. Because there wasn't any point in lying running away from that. Sure made his arguments about women refusing to take responsibility for their actions uh, fall flat though. <sighs> Rep, if I go missing while we were up there he was talking about a ranch way up north with a basement where he could just put me and no one would know. The northernmost ranch I've been there. But this, this he says he's out there looking at properties. He was saying, we're going to be out here for a while. We might have to shack up. Want to go look at properties? That's how you put it. When they start talking about that ranch. Mm. Mm. The, and the, the, this is a threat. This is... I guess even the department has a list of folks we're hunting down. What was that? Nah, nothing. You'd think you'd be out west. This came from Benedict Point. That would yeah, be that was the thing. They called out West home, but they tended to do more crime this side. Why? Well, because you don't do mm -hmm. you don't do a uh... don't shit where you eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, was Shields there? That's a good name to give. <laughs> if a uh... 
If I do meet him again, I can give him the names of people who are already dead and or who are just, you know, scumbags who turn to crime. Why don't, you know, criminals rob each other? Because <sighs> the law is the big bad of the crossing and mutual enemy of everyone. Right, well, so if you, uh, well, also, but it's like I was, I was having this conversation with Corner, and he's like, because I was like, yeah, I'm riding around with a shit ton of money. He's like, now you know how a criminal feels, because I can't use the fucking bank. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's here's why uh, they don't go robbing each other as much is because they all get together in a big old group of six and go out hunting down the people who did it. And um, it's not like law, you know, if you commit a crime, law hunts you down uh, to hold you accountable for it. But once once they've done that, it's over. You cut, you do your time. <gasps> what? I'll be right back. Well, Petey. Is that Hummingbird? Hummingbird? I think so. Aye. Is that Charlie? <gasps> <gasps> oh, that was close. Hey, what go around say? I'm, I'm well, how are you? Not bad. She gasped like a child and ran over here. I did, I was like, <gasps> a white horse and a feather sticking up. I know who that is. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of people here who I need to speak to. Oh. This is great. This is actually, this is fantastic. Saffron, shit, how are you? Um, I'm okay. I've, I've been all right today, thankfully. This Good. isn't the same Good. white horse, though. Hold on. Uh, no. Wait, um, sorry. You, you say that again, Pavis, because it's interesting hearing it come out of your mouth. What? That it isn't the same white horse? That you're calling it a white horse. Well, I mean, it's more white <laughs> than it is gray. Yeah, it's it's a, it's. Okay, I feel like I feel like a, a this could this could white be called a, a white horse. White is a tone of gray. I what if this don't make me get into color theory. I'll do it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good to fuck, Pavis, how long has it been? Uh a long time. A long time. Holy shit. I'm gonna okay, I usually her is a fucking cat behind me too. We're all just let me hang on. We can find a <laughs> place better than the middle of the road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I heard no, cat this is and fine. I thought cougar. I, I did too. Excited. I was like, where? I got all excited and then I was like, oh it's a cat. Just like a regular house yeah, cat. Yeah, just a, a kitty yeah. cat. You go back to. I like how we're still rock. in the middle of the road. Aye. You can go back to the talking rock that we were just yes. at. <laughs> the talking rock. I don't kind of. It's just the rock that we all decide to stand on and chat. At. Talking I'm rock. I'm blame yes. Emily for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I I'll let Emily over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, let's. <laughs> okay. I. <laughs> so you can. Blame I wasn't me paying for the attention to lead. I was just <laughs> following, not thinking. Mm-hmm. Just all fold our arms. Nice. Oh, okay. Is this what we're doing now? All right. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job, Rip. You ruined it. Yeah, yep. you ruined the set. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Be the one out. You destroyed For fuck's it. Sake. Uh huh. Nearly fell into the fucking water just because of you. <laughs> so, how is everybody? Doing okay. Just, you know, fielding threats through my telegrams and stuff like that. Oh, know, yes. Usual day. Never ends, does it? I guess not. Reminiscing, getting all of the terrible news. Oh, there'd be so much terrible news, too. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything new that I don't know? I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty. I have no idea. I just, I just love that. I just love the juice. I just need the juice. I did hear something. It's horrible, oh. though. I heard that somebody's crucifying people. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Oh, we've heard that one. Oh, that's not a shot yep. wall. Okay. Nope. Mason James attacked Rabbit, and he might be I'm dead, sorry? but we don't know. What? Mason James attacked. Rabbit. No, I, I, I heard you, but what? Rabbit is he might be dead. Up at the, uh, welcome, sir. 
What do we mean he might be dead? Meaning that Rabbit took him down and left him up in the snow because he had killed her horse already. And um, we they found blood and that's it. They don't know if he's dead or not. Could be animals. They didn't find a body. Aye, there's no, no body, so... Howdy, 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 how are we doing tonight? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna pull guns, you sure about that? Yep. Mm hmm. Once that river turned bloody. Oh my goodness. I don't care about the death. Gentlemen, just be on your way. When, what if I say no? I would not be any closer unless you want to die. Rest of them. Now I think everyone should find some cover. Oh, all right. Okay. Hey. You said it. This doesn't need to escalate. This doesn't. Rana, get down. No. We'll turn this bloody or not. CD, what do you want? What do you want? CD, what do you want? I want guns. He I want guns. Lay down your weapon. Give me your guns. I'll get out of here. We're in the middle of town. The gun store is to the northwest. I said the gun store is to the northwest. Yeah, here's the thing. I don't got money to buy from a gun store. That's nice. Run some oranges. I want to give. So I'm gonna take. See if you just be on your way. Take your folks. Okay. Get out of here. You know what? I'll get out of here. Give you one Lan Lancaster. One Lancaster, and I'll get out of here. No. Give him one Lancaster, motherfucker. I'm not giving you an SCSD weapon. No, I don't I want that. One. I don't. I don't want the uh, the log gun. I'll take the civilian gun. This one's marked. I'll take Sapphire's gun. I better just give you a hundred dollars and fuck up. Or I could have Saffron's gun. Hundred dollars and you fuck up. One fifty. Sure. Alright, I'll take it. Put your gun away. How do I guarantee you're not gonna pull on me? You have my word, I'm a man of my word. And there's a bunch of civilians here who aren't keen on just gunning people down. Alright, we'll find out. Yo. I was gonna offer another hundred if uh, he started being a butthead. Leave. Y'all yeah, enjoy your night. Hope you see things in a bit. See y'all later, motherfuckers. Marky Fraser's riding with him now. Ronnie and Marquis were in a bank robbery earlier. The woman on Ronnie's horse, not familiar. Her name peaches. is that Peaches at the very end too? Yes. Peaches as well? Mm, peaches is a, is a piece of uh, scum. I know that uh, there's also a woman named Josie that runs with him. Josie, fuck, what is her last name? I, I don't know her last name, but she's like... That She's blonde, got blonde, blonde hair braided. Eye. Where's the black poncho? <sighs> Is everything okay? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, we're fine, buddy. So a group of outlaws who decided they didn't want to take a fight. Oh. Who? Um. Ah, oh, fuck. CD, Charles Divine. This motherfucker! May he choke on blood and dig this motherfucker. Amen. <laughs> they, they tried to rob the wrong rock. Preaching the gospel. I'm gonna choke. Well, that was exciting. Uh, that was well, was like, welcome back to the. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I was so ready for it. I can tell oh, you, Lord. I, all I was thinking. $50. All I was thinking was he is messing with the wrong person. You've got you've got a you've got <laughs> a chief here. You've got a chief here. You've got two ex lawmen and a lawman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And none of us are in the fucking mood. 
<laughs> and a florist. I'm sorry, I'm not a florist anymore, but... I was oh. I was ready to... You had the skill set. I was ready to kick Rana in the back and make her lay down under the rock. <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. let's, let's not do this. I, was, I wanted to step out and offer my bold action just oh. so they would leave. It's it's unmarked. I thought if it got them to leave, but then, uh, but then Rip took it over with if, the if, $150 if thing. Ha so. If he hadn't gone for the 150 I was going to tell him to take my stupid land faster. Sure, I can lose two. My Lancaster is definitely not yeah. marked, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure it's not. No, he's he's mad because I've outsmarted him multiple times with him trying to rob me. I actually need to get this engraved really badly. <laughs> what I don't understand is, he, I've seen him like go for Saffron twice now, personally, uh -huh. and he mm -hmm. announces himself every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he yep. doesn't learn. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not an outlaw. I'm not. I can't, I can't stand it this I stuff. heard his yeah. voice and I'm yeah. That's a good, yeah, that's a good idea. No. Okay. Fair point. <laughs> Man, I really thought I was gonna get too good by the end. I don't got any guns on this horse. Do you need one? I was gonna say, do you need one? I... I have black... Never mind, I don't have one on this horse. Everything else is on my other horse. I've got a fucking guns on my other horse. I've got a bolty on this one, but that's about it. Yeah, I was... Well, I was supposed to go uh, bow hunting with Coiner tonight. Okay, if we're needing to talk, so. would a PD be a better choice? Yeah, sure. Right. Uh, Rana needs to go to bed anyway, so it's actually I would right. much prefer to escort Let's her. Let's go okay. northwest out of town. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, actually. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was gonna offer to do that. Horse likes yours a lot, like a lot, a lot. I like San Yeah, I like your horse a lot. Oh, I am Lee's horses. I'm. Oh God damn it! Is there stables up near Walpiti? Mm, the other way. No. But Shit. Stables Wapiti now, I think. I. Is there? I've not seen it. I think so. Maybe not. Maybe I'm. Oh no. I was thinking about it. Did someone just eat dirt? Oh God. What happened? So we eat dirt. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. Shit. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna you know what? Can I, uh -huh. I'm gonna sit on my horse and I'm gonna stay out of the goddamn way. Alright, alright. Alright. I don't know. I, look I don't know. It's here. fine. He's alright. <laughs> Come on. Out of the way, dead bodies and up horses. He's not dead okay. though, he's fine. No, he, he'll be okay. No, he's just got the wind knocked out. Wrong, I, I think I got one that one folks. I'm just gonna say it. Right, there's a rider. Didn't have to laugh. Let's pick it up the fast fly Wallace. Pick it up. Okay, everyone, we need to ride in formation. We just have to. Yes, ma'am.
is it starting to snow? One, two, two, vigilante. <laughs> Listen, we were defending ourselves. Is there snow mixed in this shit? Aye, it's starting to snow. Uh, well, at least we found some room. Oh, yes. We have plenty of old cakes. Uh -huh. So. Mm -hmm. How plenty do you make bias. those? I, honestly, I have no idea. I can, I can, I can teach you. I don't know. I think people just... Rah! Rah! What? No, I wasn't. I didn't even work in. Rana, I'll teach you how to make them. They're Scottish. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Rana is getting caught up by that wagon. Uh oh. She's... Hang on, hold her. Hang Rana. on. Oh, she might have... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry. Okay, here she goes. Yeah. I need to I need to grab my warmer clothes really quick. Okay. Oh, That's the Ac accidental purchase. You're just gonna go over there and graze. Yeah, he just—he <laughs> needed some oregano. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh. Wait, did, uh, oh, my bird. Did you hear why I have this horse? You did. Mm, no. So I was down at the auction at uh, uh, McFarland's the other day, uh -huh. and um, they told us that if we so much as scratched our nose, we'd be considering as raising our hands to bid on the animals auction. Right. And uh, I got sort of bored, and I got sort of hungry, and all I had in my satchel was some oregano, so I popped some of that in my mouth, and the next thing I know, back with is saying, you just bid, and then they're pointing at me, they're going, and $200 going once, going twice, sold. And that's how I got um, this horse right here. Two hundred dollars for is that a Turkmen? That's an Andalusian, actually. So a five hundred dollar oh. horse for two hundred dollars isn't bad. Um, that's a that is a fucking bargain. But I definitely did not need <laughs> to purchase. Oh. So I mean, it's beautiful. So it's, a name isn't officially accidental purchase, but I'll keep calling him that. <laughs> I think I think you need to change the name to accidental purchase. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Perchy for sure. Oh, Perchy. <laughs> but then people perchy. go, but that's not a perch run, that's a that's an Andalusian. You act like people around here know what a perch run is. <laughs> what the fuck is a perch Oh uh, a percheron as in a fucking ho right. I was like, uh, yeah. what the fuck is a perch roan? Yeah, <laughs> it's, the... it's like a fishy it's a fishy roan. Front chores. The closest thing we'd have to would be a Hungarian half bed, I think. <laughs> Uh, I wrong <laughs> All good. All right. I'm up the back. <laughs> Rana, go in front of me, please. No, no, no. I need please, to. Please, I thank you. Think. Let's cut down. Oh, Yeah, the back road, the one that goes up. It's great that you will say we're taking the back way. I've never been this way before. Play. This is the fun oh, way. Oh god, sorry. Oh, sorry, no, I. I oh, for God's sake. Saddle. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's you know right, what? We're right. professionals. Uh huh. Oh, that's uh -huh. the uh, sorry. Or we need to turn. Or once upon a time, 
Everyone, we need to turn down this road back here. Oh, Unless we want to go up Mount Hagen. This way! Down here! On the path! On the path. Natural state of things, ember leading. Oh, we got horses. Oh. Yep. Ah. Problem we faced. And, and Amelie's horse. You know, it's really kind of impressive that none of us have eaten shit running into each other yet. You will note, I said yet. <laughs> Well, really, it should be single file here. <laughs> Otherwise, people are, are going to die because it's too it's too narrow. Taking a right. Come right, up. taking the right. Taking a right. Taking a right. Snake. Snake. I'm 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 okay. It's just uh, some of these horses are touchy. They've been out of the stable too long. They're all in dire need of tax support. You haven't seen the you haven't seen the village, have you? No, I haven't. You haven't seen the village. Uh oh, slow up. Right, they're all having pile up issues. Oh, I have us, uh, the village is growing a lot. That's what I hear. Do you know what we didn't get in strawberry? We gun didn't oil. get the gun oil. <coughs> Fucking gun I, oil. I'm I have a I've single got, tube I've got, of cunt oil on me. I've got two, I've got two cold. tubes if you really need it. She probably really needs it. Okay, well, I when, once really I get back I to just, the village. It would be nice. I'm, I will go to Valentine and get it myself at some point. Brenna, I'll give you two tubes of gun oil. Honestly, it's okay. I'll just. Rana, this is. I've already stated. Rana, I've already said that I'm going to give you the gun oil. What? <laughs> and you will accept it, Rana. That one's on me, that one's on me. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, I know it's because I only spent half my time in the crossing of the... How is I learned I was talking about visiting. I've seen people run right off that yeah, cliff thinking it was here. the way the road was supposed to go. Is it, is it true that they think the, uh... What's the name of their, their leader? Vasquez. Mm -hmm. Is it true they think that he can summon lightning with his anger? No. <laughs> ah. That's, that's not true. Okay. But I thought. Huh. Yeah. 
Has anyone made the joke? Surely. Yes, he was even given like a tomahawk with demigod written on it. Huh. I just wanted to know if someone had asked him if those were, you know, fireworks in his pocket or if he was just happy to see you. Uh, he's got, he's got a lot what? of them. Uh, that's how he greets people and, you know, like, he, he's always setting them off and, uh, he even has a cannon because, uh, we went up there for Thanksgiving. He has a cannon? And he, he <coughs> the cannons and I got the fire cannonballs. Good oh, Christ. It's so much fun. He's holding that much power. power. <laughs> Don't tell Maddie Winwood. After oh, all, he fucking... is... He is the one that, uh, he took over that island from the three of us later, so... Mm -hmm. In the last video I was there, I saw the cages that... That was the ones that he was kept in. I don't know anywhere near enough about the island. They would like tourists. Mm. They really would like tourists there. Mm. A small group of people, even from the cross, and moved there. Nah. I live there, you know, I picked out a house, and me and Corner live there part-time. It's lovely. I need to visit. Alright, who wants to go first since our horses are all lock clocking each other? Are okay. they lake lake in each other or lake lake in each other? They really like each other. They lake lake each other? Yeah, I think so. Team of three, please. Come on. Hey, 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 please don't kick me. Please don't kick me, John. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got off you on the wrong side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't hitch up on this side. It has uh, to be on the side. You've got to be the other side, other side, side or hey. tray the hitches no, over fine. here or hey. the trees. Hey. I just hey. wanted to uh, wash the Valentine up of my horse. Hey. hey, enough, enough. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Where do you want no, us to no, no, I'm up, going but... to Valentine tomorrow. It's no. fine. This fire is, uh... Everyone sits around... That's fine. Uh, we'll sit around this fire. Yeah, may I, as well. Honestly, I prefer the bigger fire. Mmm. Yeah, there's more seats, but, it's uh... Mm. Alright! <laughs> if someone wants to grab that crate as well. Um... Oh, hi. That one. Got it, Rami. Oh, yeah, I've got it. I like this fire. There's a lot more this. room over here. It's more cozy. <laughs> Sometimes the elders sit with us. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, the. Uh... Oh, it's all right, Amelie. You don't have to. You don't have to face everyone. It's fine. You turn your back to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. That's Not fine. What I wanted. Right now, watch me place Take the box a... down wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I did the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> <Don't worry>. Yep. <laughs> yep. You know, these, these chairs are also perfectly comfortable. No, I want my butt to be cold and wet. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, but, well, well, fine. But my toes are toasty. True. That is true. As well. Actually, mm -hmm. I need to get closer. And yeah, if my toes to... freeze, my whole body goes cold. <laughs> you want to cuddle? <laughs> cuddle, <laughs> cuddle uh -huh, uh -huh. No, tell him. Tell him you cuddled with me. I will. After all, his ass is in bed right like... now. Yep. <laughs> 
I'll be like, guess what? I sat on your desk and I cuddled your wife. (laughs) (laughs) I sat on your wife and I cuddled your desk. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. What is Rip doing? We have plenty of furs He might be. I can always grab people furs Mm -hmm. if they're cold. He's probably making note of what happened down in Strawberry. Right. He's the only one who's going to be able to take that uh, report, really. Oh, true. Oh, there she goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's on pony patrol. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Don't kick Rip. Don't kick Rip. <laughs> Please don't kick Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Unbefuckin'-leavable. You know, I should have gave him my gun that I have on me that I'm just begging to have stolen from well, me if, because... Well, if he, if he had not accepted I mean that hundred dollars I was gonna step forward and go go ahead and take take the stupid rifle I mean what would he have done if I would have dropped my varmint rifle at his feet <laughs> I mean honestly? I've decided to run around with that on my back instead of my regular gun because fuck it go on take mm-hmm. it you want to be that petty I well, fucking hate the gun anyways mm. Saffron what did you do to this man um, he tried to rob me, and I said no, and pointed my gun at him. And then he tried to hold me up again, and I said no, and pointed my gun at him. And then he tried to run me down again, and I shot at him. So, uh, that, that, I suppose? Sounds just like the fucking obsessed. Aye. Maybe he does there, like you. Uh... CD, I mean, fuck, fuck. He, he also, <laughs> that whole newspaper thing, too, because uh, we ended up running him down. Don't forget about that as well. So what, what, what did he say about the newspaper? I didn't understand that. Something like he thought you wrote an article or you thought, he thought that Abigail lied about you still working for the paper. Okay, I, I don't know anything about Which that is why he him. wanted to talk to Abigail in private without law outside of blackwater and told her he goes we can do this the hard way or the easy way either you come with us or i have a knife i have a pistol i have a lancaster i have this i have that and well, everybody fucking stepped up in front of abigail corner went right up to him and said take me buddy i'm the editor of the fucking paper and he goes no i don't want you i want her and he's like i'm her fucking boss Got bass on the brain. I I wonder why. <laughs> so the apple isn't far far from the proverbial tree, then, huh? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not with any of these nephews, it seems. It's a whole sea of nephews, as far as the eye can see. Springing out of holes in the ground. I was saying a rip. Where you know where are the brothers and sisters. Where are the nieces? It's only nephews. Where do they oh, come no, from? no, I think you jinxed me. I've been <laughs> oh, having to deal no. with someone running around claiming to be my brother. Or claiming oh, I'm his oh, brother. No. It would be oh, marginally better this. if uh, he was claiming to be your nephew. Oh. Is that Tear Riley? No. Pavis, remember that person who we saw running up the tracks from Sandinia and we both thought that he had a white hat on, but it was yeah. a coo- It was like a skunk hat? Mm hmm. Cooter. That's who is. That's who's claiming to be. Curtis really... Doyle. Mm-hmm. No. Oh my God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Rest in peace, Rip. Hat <laughs> Rip Rip. Rip Rip. <laughs> that's a. Uh... Sounds a little bit like a. Frog. I mean, I see the resemblance Ribbit. for sure, especially in mannerisms. Fuck and off. <laughs> How you really feel, Rip? <laughs> On a professional level, I hope no outlaw picks them up. Because there's a lot of them out there currently that are after my head. On a personal level, he's writing his own death sentence. What did you do to piss off everyone? My job? Oh no, yeah, it's literally all you have you to want do is really doesn't take much. Safe and people hate you for that? Yep. Well, they, they don't like, uh, you know, funny thing, criminals don't like being arrested. Or shot at. Whoa! Or fined. 
Or, like, or, 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 or yeah. having to hear the word no. Yeah. Oh, well, people want to the phrase, children, then, were they? You're an idiot. Or as my mother would have said, a bleeding idiot. <clears throat> I think my mother was just going full vigilante. She really didn't, uh, she didn't really suffer fools. Just this, uh, little French lady in a wheelchair just zipping around the crossing. <laughs> Shotgun in one hand. Oh my. Cigarette in the other. God, I miss my mother. Oh, I will say that I'm grateful for your actions today. Thank you for, uh, for what you did, Rip. Thank you. Nothing to thank me. I'm just glad I didn't turn to fucking shoot out. Sorry, I mean, that is... considering they all left him alone in the street. <laughs> yeah, I, I was so. You were so was ready. So, he was right there in front of me. <laughs> he was so ready. So the one the woman that was dressed in black. You don't believe that was Josie? Uh Josie wears black. She's got blonde hair that is braided. Uh she's like wears a black corset and a black poncho. Joey said that one of the people he saw red hair and a bun, her name is Ariel. Hmm. I look I thought, like peaches. I thought that was peaches. Ariel. Yeah, I don't know Ariel. Same woman who said she wanted to kidna kidnap me. This can't resist you, can they, Rip? I just wait until you hear the reason for it. Mm. Oh, is this one mm -hmm. who went to kidnap you make you sing? Uh huh. Well, what? It was very awkward and, uh,. Uh, just I'm very kind of shy about it at the telegram office the one day. I know people in the crossing are weird. The uh hell? -huh. Especially outlaws. Especially nephews. Especially <laughs> nephews. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's just like faking your death all over again. Uh, you know, I ain't that close to any of my aunts or uncles to be like, yeah, I'll go cause some chaos and die for you. No, you got a whole family of them come around. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, uh, if I tried any of that shit, I think my all my aunties here would just slap me upside the head and I'm pretty sure I'd deserve it. Yeah. Well, that's, one of them yeah. the other day for swearing by mistake. No, no that is the problem. That's why I've been apologizing. People who don't have any discipline growing up. Need, we need to find out who their mothers are and send them a telegram so that they can come sweeping in, grab them, drag them by their ears off their horses and <laughs> slap like them upside that the head. Mm. Maybe we should oh, just but... get an army of aunties to sort <laughs> these outlaws out, right? <laughs> oh, but... Saffron, you know what would happen, is that all these mothers would get angry at law for upsetting their sweet baby boys. I mean, maybe if you show yeah. them what their sweet baby boys are doing, I think that most mm. of them would shriek at them. And I don't know, I think the there ear. are certain mothers out there, their kids can't do anything wrong in their eyes. Oh no, my little, my little Timmy killed someone? Oh, it's fine, I'm just gonna cover it up and make a dinner. That's true. Ruth. Do you know? Oh the, no, the you can just go back to my that, like, basement and continue with my taxidermy business, huh? They just pay the some books? money and make things disappear. I mean, look at the fucking Braithwaite's. Yeah, fair point. 
Yeah. Well, any time, any time any crime is handled only with a fine, you're essentially legalizing the crime. Uh, it just costs yeah. a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. and that is why Sessica is a thing. <laughs> I think we're all learning recently that uh, actions have consequences. Yeah. Yeah, they do. What did you need to discuss? I am... Um... I don't... Oh, Black Sky died? No way to turn at the minute. Okay. Things are difficult right now. Um, Probably just really I can't really bad. elaborate, but... Mason James sent me a telegram today. And now he might be dead. But you don't know if he's dead. Law is in possession of a letter that was from his mother. He wants this letter back. He believes I can get it for him. So I need it. And I was in Strawberry looking for a sheriff. I know you can't make that happen, Rip. I know none of you can make that happen, but... Is he threatening you if you don't get it for him? He's going to burn down the village. <laughs> One CP at a time. So he's threatening all of my PE. Mm hmm. You too. Maybe that he is. Mm hmm. Hummingbird really including us here. <laughs> he cannot touch this place. made a promise. I made a promise to my wife, too. Well, here's to hoping the wall's gone. Here's hoping he's gone, but... I feel like Rabbit would be one of the best people to discuss this with. And there is no body found. That's what's concerning. Just being that but Rabbit... he's still alive. Just being that... When, when did you get the telegram? You got it... Earlier, um... I think it was, uh, 2 or 3 p.m. Eastern. Would that have been before or after Rip? That he attacked Rabbit. Repeat the time of the te telegram. Uh, 2 or 3 p.m. Eastern, I think. I gave it to Beckwith. Possibly, yeah, uh, well before. He did give it to Beckwith, though. Hmm. Because I thought that Beckwith might be able to push this. Particularly since I'm helping him out with another case. The, uh... The scalpings over at the oil fields. Does anyone There's know anything about that? As multiple? There's scalpings mm -hmm. now? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, someone who's using tomahawks with three red feathers. This is a... I believe this is a... Well, Beckwith said that this was a uh, Cherokee tradition. It's not Koho. Oh, 
Oh, the only Cherokee man I know is. Hmm? I was going to say, we don't know who this is, who's doing that. No. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. And I think we're all afraid. I think it's just nice to be scared with people sometimes instead of just on your own. I'm gonna go get that telegram from that dillo boat off my horse and read it just so you understand mm -hmm. what I'm dealing with. Please. Oh, the snow is so beautiful and ambient, guys. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm quite tired. I think I'm gonna... Okay. All right. Let me at least get Just this. keep an eye on Black Sky mm -hmm. for the night. Let me just get this out of your way. Thank you. Sure. Um, <coughs> my role, I hope you stay safe and... For their sake, I hope they don't come mm -hmm. here. <laughs> Sleep well. Thank you. Sleep well. And let me watch them. So I got this right before you turned up in Strawberry Really. Um sent from Benedict Point. It was nice seeing you again, even if ever so briefly I took a look at some properties today, you and I still have a lot to talk about. There are only six names left unaccounted for on my list, soon I'll know them all, but you are the first and we will meet again. From Rio. When he had me, he was going on about locking me up in a basement and looking at properties. I just hope that he doesn't know I'm staying up here. I, d I don't know how he would know. If he does, well... A Del Lobo north of Bacchus Station, that's uh, grounds for self-defense, isn't it? That's what a shotgun's for. I think there's anyone on duty right now, Drip. At least when you checked the office, was there? Last I saw back row. <sighs> I know, isn't it funny, folk? <laughs> What's The village is best seen in the dark. Let's, uh... I'll grab your horses. I think it's time to go for a little tour. Sure. I know River had shown me around a wee bit uh, months ago, mm. but um, well, I think I've seen lights way off in the trees. <laughs> All these horses are so disagreeable right now. Yeah, we need to visit the stable soon. Mm -hmm. They're struggling back there. Mm -hmm. oh.
is such a struggle, man. They're so hard to control. The space we tend to not the intent to use for ceremony. Tell me I don't be easier. Yep. They occasionally have meetings up here. If there's anything we like at Wapiti, it's to have a warm place to sit down and talk. I think everyone likes that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is very true. I was restraining myself. Learn how to ride a horse, Ember? Okay, witch. Brave sense to use these TPs. That They're, used uh, to work. Now it doesn't work. They're a bit too dangerous with the elders. There's a, uh, the wolf dens are too close. Oh really? There's gonna be a lot of slipping and sliding because. Uh, Especially now with the ice. There's a bit of a... Oh, nope, oh, he's, oh, I, oh, it messed him. We're good. Everyone okay? Is everyone uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. yep. You sure? Uh huh. Sorry, uh -huh. I was so dramatic. So <laughs> I just <laughs> thought he was about to get oh, kicked in the spine. Yeah, I'd rather avoid that if possible. I just noticed your very purple gun. Oh, yes. This is the Echelot gun. The what? Echelot gun. Again, the what? Shallot gun. You know, a shallot like the onion. Oh, shallot. Oh, you know, I kind of like it. No. Uh, Thank you. I no, no, Isla's got the shallot gun. <laughs> now I'm just confused <laughs> again. <laughs> Is it a shallot and an echelot are two? <laughs> They're two separate I'll take onions. Your word for it. Uh huh. Because a shallot's green. An echelot is it's little and it's purple. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, right. mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we got up here. Ow. Oh. oh. Pull the oh, chief back the down the mountain. Mm -hmm. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> that, my friends, is leadership. I'm fine. You're fine? No, I'm not. Oh shit, you're okay. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. This is my town gun. It's my leave me the fuck alone gun. I left my Lancaster down at the village, so uh, this is just what we're doing. Yes, of course. I, it's yeah, it's very obviously French. I figured that one out. <laughs> I shall look. Or I, I said it with a Scottish accent right there. So that was weird. Nope. In story mode, I think this is where you can find the warp brindle. Uh, it works still. Oh, <laughs> damn! God that TP up there is um, it's being used by a friend of us. Uh, Wait, that TP up uh, where? Oh, just up there. To it's the, like uh, straight ahead. To the west. Mm -hmm. uh, straight to the west. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Oh, I see, see it now. I see it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent for the more paranoid among us, but yet the fucking. But it's comfortable once you get up there. The Comus. <sighs> okay, you just stand there and scream then. Mm hmm. You've all been up here before, yes? Mm -hmm. I've also sent myself flying down the mountain. <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe, uh... <laughs> sliding down the mountain. Uh, uh -huh. Deliberately, with style. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. That's sure. what he's seeing. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. yes, of course. Mm 
look, Saffron, there's oregano everywhere. Uh, you getting hungry? Uh, uh, no, um, <laughs> I'll set up a horse auction real quick. I'm going to have to eat oregano before I purchase horses, just as a matter of tradition now. Yep. Uh -huh. I figured we spent enough time <gasps> with you that we should Are you actually... okay? Hi. Uh, okay. Uh. It's all right, just a wee patch of ice. Time up here to, um, I want someone to fall off. So bad. It's not so great in terms of, um, you know, in terms of tactics, it's a lot easier to see when someone's up here, but it's also just quite a bit more comfortable. Here. That's true. Or if you lie down on your belly. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you just scare people enough that you don't need to hide. <laughs> that was Running Fox's specialty. Just <laughs> scaring the shit out of people. It's a good legacy. <laughs> Lacey played running pa guys the place who played Pavis played the, the previous chief running fox oh no there goes my internet thank you thank you have a seal of approval mm -hmm. all right big old buffer we should be fine oh we should you be sure? back. You sure you're okay? I'm fine. Yeah, her face broke her fall. She's fine. <laughs> it's just, just, it's okay. It's my yeah, ass. We're it's back. fine. Oh, uh huh. All right. Oh god. Hell yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. Uh uh. All right. Is that it? That's, Wait, that's uh, it. I just. Uh, uh. Easy does it. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I live. <laughs> You're fine. You're okay. You sure? Oh, did it fuck my gun up though? Oh. You didn't oh, hold your gun, gun up. Beautiful. It didn't do shit. Oh, oh good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good here too. Oh, that's because it's not raining. <laughs> nope. Oh, g very Ow. graceful, both of you. <laughs> Shut up, Saffron. <laughs> Go get kidnapped. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did that yesterday. Thank you very much, Pavis. <laughs> wow. Wow. Watch the rocks, please, if you, uh... Yeah, yeah, the chief's just kicking yeah. them out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally bad. just kicking them down at us. <laughs> please watch the rocks. Kicking them harder to send them down the slope. <laughs> That's exactly how this works. Where the hell are they going? Oh, there they are. You're right. I'm just a. Right it's a lot of really rough right. terrain to be walking on. Where'd they go? I'm sorry, I this one. Alright. I'm not bitchy, right? Are you? you okay? I occasionally forget that you speak French and stuff. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well. French. French. Uh, not too much anymore. Um. There was a. Uh, it's a long story, but um. We there was a, there's a small branch in there that. Uh, oh. Yeah. It. Uh, mm. Apparently, if you cut away at the wrong bit of your brain, it's fucks with your language processing. Oh god. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm relearning it, but it kind of just sounds like a bunch of words. It's, it's like a bad translation, a bad translation. Well, kind of like the dream catcher, I can't tell, so. Well, good. Sounds great to me. There's a, uh, there's another TP up on the ridge here. Look all the way, it's hard to tell the fog.
So Itakala, <clears throat> Chief Itakala CB is this way as well. It's, uh, she got the one with the. It's actually a beautiful view over this rain. Is the uh, the smell leaves it a little bit to be desired, but you know. So you can catch them on Valentine. Mm-hmm. Miss is turning me the fuck around. Don't you love it? One of my favourite. Isn't it great? That's one of my favourite uh -huh. things about um, when the snow comes is getting lost in familiar places. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what's crazy though? You get so, the same uh, weather on uh, Guam as well. <laughs> so this is cheap at the Gala Station. I'm sorry, what? When... Yeah, what it snows on Guam. Yeah, you ever want to go out in the main corner and let me know? We'll take you out. We'll introduce you to the people. Apparently, Amelie's got connections out there. It's much more mm -hmm. it's clear, I'm, I promise. You're gonna overthrow the dictator yourself? <laughs> quite the opposite. I found him to be quite the uh, enjoyable man to be around. <laughs> him and I get along quite well. That is Dick Hummingbird to you. <laughs> Nah, just say this. Well, Don't believe everything you hear, Rip. Uh-huh. What do you mean a journalist getting a non-biased opinion? Wait, was that a jab at me? <laughs> no, it was a jab at all. There's, uh... Two ex-reporters and one current reporter, is that right? No. Not right now, no. Wait, Amelie, do you work for the paper now? Nope. Oh. I run rum at Aguarmo. That's what I do now. <laughs> it's an excellent trade. <laughs> I actually. still got a crate at the house. I got to actually get out there and sell, but things have been real fucky lately, so. Oh, basically like moonshine. That is true. <laughs> it's been real hard to even like leave town to sell anything. So many, uh, too many fuckwits then, huh? Yep. Mm. Wait, too do many. Remember, do you remember a frustration tree? It was, um, right at the front of the village. It was just a piece of paper stuck to a tree that we used for target practice. No, I, I know you can't said that. It. Yeah, I don't remember that, but I know you've got a target range up here because I was mentioning, mm -hmm. like, let's go to a PD tomorrow and, uh, you know, let me work on my bow. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he's, uh, he's really under the weather tonight, so he stayed, he, you know, he stayed in and slept. Oh. Welcome to Frustration right. Grove. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought you'd like this, Pavis. Yeah. Yeah. In fact. But you know how this is supposed to be is our bread here in the crossing. <clears throat> that was so fun when you're angry at the world. It's an excellent place to not be angry. Just uh, no firearms. We're too close. We um. Yeah, it's gonna just start a. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Ah, huh? uh, calm us. Calm us. Relax. It's all right. Where's it? My dad. Mark's on that for reasons. Oh, Baba. She's a cuckoo. She's a cuckoo. She's a cuckoo. Oh, baby. Oh, she's a big baby. Oh, she's a big baby. Yes. How's he? Yes. How, how's he? How's Rosie getting on for you then? <laughs> Rosie's doing just fine, <laughs> except for the getting spooked at throwing knives for whatever reason. Uh, the shiny yes. move fast, I guess. Mm. But she's also an Andalusian, so she's kind of supposed to be a warhorse. Uh huh. You know how the supposed think... to be is are bred mm. here in the Cross and Palace. Yeah, no. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, I'm hitting it. 
That was the most genuinely sweet thing I've ever heard. And her little skip back. <laughs> I'm not a good bow user. And like I said, we're supposed to go out practicing tonight. Mm. Well, you need a target range. Here you are. Yeah, he got sick though. He's under the weather. Mm. I'm sorry. That's fine. I got talking to people and then shit started happening. So, you know, fuck it. Mm. Well, you're also welcome to come here yourself. Or with another friend. It's up to you. I've also been trying to keep an eye on other people, too. Mm. Those that ain't as strong as, you know, any of us are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. This is good. Someone has to. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh! Oh, my favorite, my favorite part. Hmm? No, actually, this, this, the, oh? the shooting oh? range is my favorite part, oh? but the, uh, my second favorite part. from the horses. Uh, I am. I'm trying. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna... We're just gonna... Come on. Come on. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I I'm I'm just my feet are hurting. Where are we looking at? Uh this is where they flush the arrows. Oh, okay. Wait, what's happening? Really? No, no, the, the little, the little dresser table. Just this one, this one, the corner oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, close. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have been, I have been wanting a place to change my clothes for maybe a year, I and we finally got it. That's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Now, if mm -hmm. only they mm -hmm. could pick on a telegram lane from back a station. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> It would Wouldn't that sort be of lovely? make sense with a population oh, center it... up here and all that. You would have so many outlaws riding through here, though. It'd be such a nuisance. Well, down at oh, Buckus, I think they would at least bypass on the tracks. They'd just stay down in the tracks. I don't think it would change it that much. Oh, you mean keeping it at Bacchus? Aye, at here. Bacchus. Because it makes sense, right? They've already got the lanes going out there. Mm. Aye, if you actually had it up I here mean... in the village, it would... Uh... Hmm. There to be a lot oh, of elders no. coming up here. Mm -hmm. That'd be a draw you probably no, don't the, want. No, the elders would pitch a fit. And the amount of trees that we have to fell, it would just be a nightmare. But back it makes sense. Honestly, I'm surprised the infrastructure isn't there in the first place. But, you know. Mm -hmm. Who asks Chief Hummingbird Flies by Moon for fucking infrastructure ideas? Steevels would be good, too. Oh. <laughs> I would froth. <laughs> To never have to go to Valentine again. <laughs> Hello, Kima 4. <laughs> he rattled his belly. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know all the cows are named Kima, yes? Um, I did hear something about that, eh? Yes. Um, I'm gonna be right back.
right back. Poppy fields? The poppy fields? Hi, Sephora. Did you did you just did That's you where me and Corner was gonna get married. <laughs> did you did you just slap Kima too? I is that, is a, that what I saw? Uh, she was about to run this way, so I got her to run the other way. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I... Slapping my slapping my beef. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's dairy. I don't think it's beef. The, uh, yeah, just whipping. whipping I've been the told cream. it's what to do <laughs> up here. <laughs> Yeah, those fields have a, a tale to tell. Mm. Honestly, how that uh, one particular horse of mine, now under the care of Saffron, <laughs> ran me off the cliff. Oh? You know how there's a hut back there? It's a, it's at like the eastern side. No, the, sorry, the western side of the kind of poppy fields area. It's mm -hmm. got that that hut f filled with bones up there. There's also a lot of cougars in the area, and Rip and I were off duty and just exploring, <laughs> and it, the horse started spooking, and I heard a wildcat growl, and we started riding away, and I fired my gun towards the cat, and at that point, Cusco ran us through some trees. I got knocked off in the branches. And when I got up to my feet, I was standing at the very edge of a cliff, and Rip and the horse were nowhere to be seen. And then I heard him crying out from down below. I made way, my way <laughs> down the cliff, uh, and found him laying cradled between Cusco's four legs at the bottom of the cliff. They were both fine. But, um, so sweet. Mm hmm. And Rip here still claims that Cusco hates him. <laughs> just, you're just an odd couple. That's all it is. You just need to stand that horse back to back flat and neck cross your arms. Mm -hmm. Decided to, at the top of one of the hills going over by the track, jump ten feet further into the air. That's just the nature of those hills there, Rip. Terror would have done the same thing, and so would it. So would have tied. That's why you don't run straight at very steep hills. I actually made it a point to go back with Terran Tide, and they both uh, navigated it completely fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You sure that's not uh, I'm sure it, I'm sure it was exactly the same spot, exactly. With the same ex uh, circumstances, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. No, I recall it very well, considering Cusco <laughs> dislocated my arm, and Lark had to put, pop it back in. I mean, it sounds to me like you could have been suffering a wee bit from some pain, delirium. Right. Just a wee bit. So, <clears throat> I, uh, I was gonna say it's just, it's really nice when people here. Especially when you're dealing with threats, I'm sure. It's just, mm -hmm. it's so frustrating. I feel like everything is just awful right now. Mm -hmm. No getting around it. I love her wee patrol path. <laughs> she's no, so consistent. She just comes and checks she's so consistent yeah. too. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. It's my clever girl. This is the uh, this is the horse that Isla got me to. Uh... It was 
we already decided that we were married when we were on the run. You know, we figured he'd get picked up any day now. There was no point pretending that we wanted to wait. It's just, it was just too. I don't know. Felt too convoluted to just do some kind of engagement for the sake of an engagement. And um, but when when we decided we didn't want to hide anymore, Myla got me that horse, and it was the it was the day the renovations here were complete. We went to Strawberry and we changed up the deeds and. That was that. I got her a Breton. You know, people ride Bretons, I just, I don't... They're so lovely and they're so sweet, but it sounds like they're... You know pugs? Snort. You ever seen a pug? I, the the mm -hmm. snorting, the snorting yeah. is incredible. I... Exactly. It's, it, it, <laughs> it, feel, it feels cruel to make them run. Well, um, somewhere like here is a lot better for them than somewhere like, uh, say, New Austin. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, those horses like that drafts, they, they tend to have pretty incredible endurance. They can still run and stuff. It's just they suffer more in the heat, typically mm. speaking. They're not going to get, you know, they're not mm. something wiry and light like an Arabian, for instance. True. True. I guess uh, when you're a big beefy boy like a Shire, it's... Uh... I mean, being in New Austin as it is, is torture. I don't get why so many- I don't understand why so many deputies are assigned to New Austin. Why do they all want to be in New Austin? The place is a fucking hellhole. I feel like there's a lot of uh, bad folk out in New Austin these days. it's a lot better than Valentine. Oh, well. Better than Rhodes. And similar landscapes are often uh, featured on the covers of dime novels. Just saying. True. <laughs> Very true. I don't read those. <laughs> Wow. You don't even know how to read. Come on now. Yes, I do. Exactly. Oh. Prove it. You can read reports and that's about it. When's the if last time the you've, it's... you've read recreational rip? On the roads. Back when, uh, before I came here to the crossing. Nice, so it's been some time. Mm. What, you don't even read the paper? Well, I don't stop by general novel, stores but... often enough to pick up a mm -hmm. newspaper. Usually I would read the paper to him. But I haven't bothered Aww. with the paper for a while. Mm -hmm. Until I get told by guards that fuck you for your comments, and then I read the newspaper and half of the quote is cut out for obvious reasons. Not enough yeah. sensationalism. So a lot of context is missing, yeah. and they decide to take it in a, uh, a direction that paints them in a bad picture. Uh, you mean Sissica guards? Mm-hmm. You mean the people who pit... who pit inmates against each other in a fighting pit for fun and profit? You give them a bad name. Interesting take. Almost as if maybe you shouldn't fucking... Unfortunately, for some reason... Aye, the Sissica guard seemed to be able to do something that would get any lawman fired immediately. Mm -hmm. It's a very strange um, thing. My opinion mm -hmm. is I would prefer to see consistency across the board. If uh, the Sissica guards can be a murderer, then lawmen should be able to do the same. Well, maybe it should be the other way around. Maybe everyone should be doing a bit less murder. Well, no, well, rich well for me, but... obviously, I would much prefer that people do less murder, mm -hmm. but the sad fact is people are going to do it. Sure. <laughs> Didn't even read Saffron's articles. Give him a hard time in his chat, guys. Just bully him. How could you? <laughs> well, if 
think I've about had it for the day. I need mm. to go down to Telegrams and see if any law has got back to me. I need to start making my way to bed. Okay. I was just looking at the sky, seeing if, you know, what time of the, trying to figure out the time of day. Yeah. Mm. Well, it was Excellent. great catching up with you, Hummingbird. It was really good to see you, too. Alright, time to go. I wanted to go down to uh, mm -hmm. huh? Emerald. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Emerald or Valentine. If Beckwith's around, he's more likely being Valentine. It's Curtis does that place. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty, pretty <sighs> That's where I saw him last. It was only an hour ago. <laughs> he said he's going to be Hummingbird? <coughs> that uh, yes. thing I offered you a while back still stands. And not just with the person I offered it for. Yeah, my horse is. Where on earth did the horse? Oh, we. Horse. It's yeah, because we left them way over. Yeah, we hitched them across uh -huh. the mm -hmm. camp. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry. Just apologize to the elders if your horse goes <laughs> running through there. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh look, my horse was smart. She came mm -hmm. around. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Cool. Good horses. <laughs> Angie. <coughs> Happy baby. It's not Angie. What? Yeah, Bye. do. And uh, we'll meet up and talk again sometime soon. Bye. Yep. Um, Emily, do you want? I think uh, her horse got stuck. No fucking clue where my horse is. Here, hop let's, on. Uh... Okay. Hop on. Okay. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. This will. This is fine. It's good to see you, Hummingbird. It's good to see you too. I'll. I'll Please be, be safe. You. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll see you soon, Stefan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Okay. I'll do my best, but no promises. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. That is my lane. Ooh. I'm not ready for bed, but I gotta start making my way there. Yeah. Um. Dog ass tired. I'm getting there. I think I've been awake like... for like 24 hours now. Oh shit. I can't <laughs> believe that your your first day back you nearly got Rob nearly got in a gunfight. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't be surprised. I'm a little sad it didn't happen, I'm not gonna lie to you. <sighs> would have been a bloody mess. And I mean it more would've. legally than actual bloody mess. Oh yeah, absolutely. Balls in that asshole. Someone needs to chop them off. Don't think he has me. <laughs> <coughs> if he's like his uncle's uncle. <laughs> uh, no manners whatsoever. No class. We all immediately drew weapons and spread out into cover. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I mean, they all left him alone in the middle of the street. They did too. <laughs> they did. I don't think that they were wanting to get shot. When they rolled up on, I mean, we ain't scared of shooting. Nope. Mm -mm. We had literally spent quite a bit of time discussing that, too. Yeah, he tried to put in a formal complaint against me to Rabin. Oh, but, nice. uh, any charges I put against him are going to be petty and biased. Meanwhile, I, as I always do, straight down the middle, I look at what he did, gave him the appropriate charges, uh, assault of a witness. 
and he bitched and complained about it. Oh, so you're saying he's even more of a bitch than we thought. Yeah. No telegram? Let you drop me up the stables, I can uh, pull one of my horses. So. I'll take someone in the I don't think Beckwith is going to be there. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it's winters. I'm sorry to bother you, but I need to report. I need to make a report. Hold me, please, Sapphire. Hi. Alright, you have a good night. I'll catch you later. Well, you take care, Amelie. You take care. Yep. Okay. I do. Hurry. So, um, a couple hours ago now, I got a telegram from <clears throat> Casper Rio de Lobo, the one that kidnapped me yesterday. Okay. I'd seen him down in Saint Denis coming out of the back room of Taipan earlier today. I was sitting there. A report that I'd seen him there, but honestly, I really have not seen Loa all day today. It has been a uh, a very busy busy evening. So I have the telegram here, which I'll I'll hand it over to you. But I, I need to. Um. He kidnapped me. Actually, can we speak inside? the office don't they? i'll just have to hold on to your weapons uh, sure actually i can just hand them up to rip or because mm -hmm. i'm talking to you oh. that way it's not can, I, can you hold these rip yeah okay and it wasn't earlier that I'd, i had plenty of room for her Alright. <coughs> okay. Alright, so I I'm not sure if you've read the report, but he kidnapped me out of Valentine last night. Okay, yeah, yesterday. And um he went to get out of me the names of everyone who was involved at as he call it he called it the massacre at Fort Mercer. But 
when we took down the Dilobos at Fort Mercer. Oh. I'm, while we were out there, he took me out into the snow at Lake Isabella and made me stand out in the ice without a coat, pick my boots. And he was talking about how there was a, a basement way up north that he could put me in and keep me in and that we should maybe start looking at properties because we were going to be out there for so long until he got what he wanted. And for some reason he let me go but I got a telegram today from Benedict Point that says it was nice seeing you again even if ever so briefly. I took a look at some properties today, you and I still have a lot to talk about. There are only six names left unaccounted for on my list, soon I will know them all. That you are the first and we will meet again. Rio. Which I'm, I'm taking this as a, as, a, as a direct threat. Certainly. Okay. And I'm afraid that if he gets his hands on me again, that Howdy. he's not going to be letting me go. Yeah, it was nice to see Pavs again. It was great. Give me uh, just a moment. You said you have this telegram. On, I have it. Head. I'll hand it to you when you're ready. Say again. Okay, let me go ahead and get that real quick. Thank you. When I saw a telegram from Benedict Point with no title and no sender, I sort of knew it would probably be from him or something like that. Oh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Where up in the Grizzlies did he take you? Was it uh, Isabella, you said? Live Lake Isabella. Okay. I hear um questioned me and fired his gun near me and made me take off my boots. I know. I, I wouldn't give him any information about people I knew who'd been there because I didn't want to help him construct a list. So instead I was just very open about my own involvement. Saying that I was there, I, I shot at Boro and I helped take down Bunny Jack. But I claimed I couldn't remember any of the other names. And he told me, he he shoved me down and beat me a bit and then told me to get running. Fired his gun in the air as I ran. Managed to make it to the mining camp on the other side of the mountain from the lake. To get some rags about my feet, but oh, he all found me in Big Valley trying to make my way to the telegram station. But getting killed by bears. Or the cold. How are you feeling now? I, you were getting looked at last time I saw you. My feet hurt a lot. Got some a spade. <clears throat> the net's doing the thing again. Um, sorry, um, can you hear me now? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, uh, I was just asking about, uh, you said earlier that you saw him in Sanity. Uh, was that today? Aye, that was, that was today. It was, um, quite a few hours ago. Okay. I went down to Sanity and <clears throat> went to something or other with guns and there was a lot of people at the shop and as I walked in, he was standing in the back room and came out. I uh, noticed about the corner of my eye. He crossed his arms and looked right at me, and I, I laughed very quickly. There should be, or should have been, a telegram from me saying uh, Casper Rio de Lobo in Taipan Gun Shop. Probably just that, but with my telegram on it. Okay, I will go ahead and uh, see if I can find that tip. 
Uh, was he wearing the same my, he clothing was, he as was wearing, was described in this? My, he was wearing the same thing. That uh, brown uh, sort of denim jacket closed at the front with um, yellow gold appliques on it. And the brown, uh, brown hat with a sort of twisted brim and the cords wrapped around the band. Okay. Hadn't changed his hairstyle either. It was still golden and falling to his shoulders. Okay. I appreciate you uh, coming in and bringing us to our attention. I'll go ahead and get all this filed away. And uh, we'll do our best to bring him in. <laughs> Alright. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to tell me? No, but if you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them. But that's... <laughs> just, uh, the, just the word in that telegram is very o ominous. So, um, you know... Were you personally involved in that shootout at Fort Mercer? Aye, that's what I was saying. That's I didn't give him any names other than mine. Okay. Uh, oh, and I'll say that I saw him in the company of Redwater uh, the day before yesterday and right before he approached me. I had been in Valentine kicking at the camp and both Hawk and Morgan walked up towards the fire so I walked away and waiting for them to leave and while I was waiting I saw someone who looked I mean from a distance same horse colour same clothing I looked like him go up to them and speak for a moment before splitting off but he had been lounging about with red water uh, on Sunday in black water and twice passed me saying hello Deputy Saffron Out of the people that were involved in the uh, the shootout at Fort Mercer, uh, did you do you recognize him? Do you think that he was there, uh, one of the people who was sh shot down? I I don't think that he was actually there. No. Okay. But I'm not absolutely certain. But he, he's calling it a massacre. Twenty two lawmen against eight de Lobos. How dare we? Everyone's got to pay for this. That sort of stuff bit late for him to be uh well to uh, add to that old blood i know um i believe rabbit mentioned something about him in the telegrams saying he was supposed to be there or something mm. okay hi uh, uh like i said I, I told him the only information i gave him what he did was that i i was there my involvement was that I made the final push, the final assault, and I helped shoot down Burrow, and I took down Bunny Jack. That's all I would give him. There's no point in right. me hiding from my involvement. I'm oh. going to give him a list, though. What, what, what is... Uh... I don't think I have any further questions for you. Uh, if you have anything else that comes to mind, uh, you remember anything more about the situation or he contacts you again, uh, be sure to reach out to us what and you... uh, we'll get it all logged away for you. Hi. There is a lineup occurring out there. E yep. Yeah, yep, I believe Clementine is. wanted to ask you for... She wants to tag her weapon with Return to Clementine. And apparently she got you a gun back without you having to pay for it, and she wants to call in the favor. All right, well. <laughs> Boy, this is why I don't come to Valentine. Yep. Uh, Clementine, if you see a deputy... I would have preferred to have gone to Emerald. Let me figure out your gun situation. Where are you going? Rip, I don't mean to bother you, I but think. I think you should get out of here. What do you mean by that? Get out the front. Did they just steal 
They just stole your horses. They took my what? horse. I don't know. Who did? I just want my gun tagged. Who took my horse? It was it was Kit or whatever and some new girl. Y'all ladies are alone. Nope. No, I'm a I'm an outlaw. No, okay. I'm an axe lawman. Okay. So I've got the best of both worlds. Kinda. I'm not buying your car deck. I'm not talking about that, goddamn. <laughs> I know you ain't. You told me to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I don't even know your name and you talking to me like that. I didn't mean it in a horrible way. It's just always trying to have a private conversation. <laughs> Do you know? Oh my god. It's a lot of blood, I think. Is it's that blood? No, me. I think it's just a red coat. <laughs> yeah, it's just red and brown. Oh, okay. You know, I was really growing fi fond of accidental purchase, and this is just fantastic. Just wonderful. Kit usually sometimes brings them back. <laughs> Bloody Kit, the horse He takes them around and comes back. You keep your distance. I know what you got. Your distance. Is that, is that your granny? The old is that lady? your granny? Oh, fine. I'll go get another horse out of the stables. Alright, go to the church. I'll take the telegram first. That horse will find its way to the stables. I don't want to worry about it. Bright glowing pink horse. I'd hope that someone with gold not should be wandering around by its own out there. It'll make its way back itself. That's what I'm saying. When you remembered, I need my weapons back. I'm disarmed. In case you're wondering, Pavis didn't even want her gun back. Gotcha. <laughs> I didn't even steal it from her. Did you find my horse, or did you take my horse? Is no, that this your is horse? mine. He stole, uh, they, they saffron. took uh, purchase. Uh, and you chased after them, but could not find them? No, I went down to the uh, stables, got mine. I had no idea where you all, you were running or trying uh, to I chase them. I was just standing out front and saw you running, and no one was telling me what was going on, so we didn't... But, you know, we were mid-conversation. And headache. Oh, that's just the timing. Fantastic. At least he gave me my weapons back. He's not going to keep the horse for long. He'll tell us where it is. <sighs> but he always does. Aye, but I was about to go back up to with PE. You know, it's just a. I was going to go by. Not on my horse. What was he wearing? I didn't see any of it. You know I, I who was, it was, though, right? It was, like, it was Kit, right? Yeah. I found him laying on the road right outside of town once. 
probably not gonna help him next time, are you? <laughs> I know. I I mean, if I found Gavin Summers lay on the road, I would help him. Fair. You're a nice person. You know that. <laughs> I mean, I try to be, but apparently people don't ag agree that I'm a nice person. So I've got a giant target painted on my back. Who told you you have a giant target painted on your back? Uh, G Bass. Ah. Uh, is it because of what you write about? And no, it's because who I'm um, affiliated with. Oh. It's because of Rip. Seems like a dumb reason. It, no, it really. I need to hurt the loved ones of the people who killed my uncle. Dumb reason. Who'd have thought? Yeah, that's fair. Did you just feed Rip's horse? Aye. He took food from you? What? Aye, but you've got to stand next to the horse. Oh. I, oh lord. Yep, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bo. I used to uh, share booty, and I know I'm not good enough, but relax. I did not know that. Hey, just to make sure they're calm and stand next to them. I'm always so scared I'm gonna get kicked. Usually, a horse a won't do that, and. If you've just been on them. Are y'all leaving town? Yeah, sorry, I'm having a fucking nightmare of a headache at the moment, so... No worries. <sighs> What's happening? We're just waiting for you to clear your head. Mm -hmm. Um, I really don't have any reason to be here. Fair enough. Well, you don't have to be if you don't want to. I fucking hate Valentine. You kidding me? <laughs> I I'll think just it's pretty in this. Gonna get another one of my horses and get back to um, yeah. back to a pee. Fucking Christ, okay. Been on duty for long, Kramer? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm still <gasps> off duty currently, but I was on duty for a while earlier. Gotcha. Um. Did you talk to Sam about Strawberry? I haven't talked to Sam about anything. No, uh, Saffron. Oh, no. Um, okay, I can talk to Kramer about that, I guess. Did you did you send oh, in Lord. anything? I sent in tips, but uh, okay, okay. Look, um, if, if this is about the dress I'm wearing, I no, I, the no, color's no, no, not. No, 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 it's CD and the wait, what? Fuck with. Uh oh. <gasps> okay. okay. So, <clears throat> uh, all right. I guess we've got a report to make. I have two. I was robbed earlier. You, <laughs> you were also robbed. Yeah. By CD. <laughs> no, I have no idea who this fellow was. We talked about horses for like five minutes and then he pulled his gun on me when I said I have a date to get to. What a jerk. Okay, I'm... Um, well, there was a group of us standing in Strawberry having a chat and then I hear CD's voice going howdy and I pulled my weapon and turned around see he's waltzing in with a... with a gun in his hand. Um... How many people he have with him? It was like four others. So it was CD, Marquise Frazier, Ronnie Rivers, and there were two others. Um, I thought it was uh, the one was Peaches. Uh, the one looked like but Peaches. But apparently one of the others witnessed it was Ariel. So either Peaches or Ariel. Um, the remaining one could have been either Josie or... I don't, I'm not sure. They're pretty, pretty much wearing dark clothing. 
Anyways, everyone standing there um, recognised what was going on and prepared to defend themselves. Siri started making threats um, and finally demanded that he would get at least one Lichfield before he go... Lancaster. Or Lancaster? Well, I have a Lichfield. He was demanding my Lichfield and I was carrying the Lan... <laughs> okay. Anyways... Then uh, Rip offered. Did you offer your gun or no? Initially a hundred dollars, and then he said one hundred and fifteen. No. I was like, fine. And I know, but at first he was saying that he would specifically take my gun, <laughs> and then he'd leave without a shootout. And you offered a hundred dollars, and then he acquiesced to one hundred and fifty, and then they all rode out of town. I basically okay, so, hold on. he said uh, that he would take your gun and only your gun and then right off and to counter that Rip offered $100 and he was like 150 and then somehow y'all ended up paying him 250 nope. No, I only paid him 150 Okay. Back to the dress. <laughs> okay, anything after that? No, well, that's the last we saw of him. Just, um... Right. Off towards Rose. He tried to he tried to rub. Basically he tried to rub Rip, me, Amelie, Hummingbird, Pavis, and Joy Crawford. Was it no, not Joy Crawford, sorry, Rana. Say those names again. Rip, Amelie, yourself. Hummingbird. Pavis. Rana. Rana? Rana is Aye. a member of a PD. Uh, okay. R A N A. I can get a telegram and everything, right? Okay, I so Rip, Amelie, Hummingbird, Pavis, Rana, and Joey Crawford? No, Joey wasn't there. Uh, he, would, he had been there earlier, but it was it was Rana, not Joey Crawford. Joey would have been up on the balcony by the... Uh, the tailor. Nice, so he was he was just so, sort of... He was watching sight out of mind, I... He wasn't directly threatened. All right. Well, I got all of that down, and I can certainly make it into a report. I also noticed there's another report about him uh, robbing folks in Valentine. Probably. Doesn't seem to stop. If. You can think of anything that is distinguishable about any of the appearances of any of the individuals. Uh, you can telegram me, you can tell Rip, he can add it to the report, you know. I'm pretty sure the lass in the back who I thought looked like Peaches was barefoot. Um, rolled up. Jeans. Pavis said something. Or, no, not Pavis. Uh, Amelie said something about Ariel. Aye, that's what I think she was saying. It was someone named Ariel. Um. That would line up. We've arrested an aerial with them before, so. I don't know about the other last, though. I didn't. I feel like if Josie had been there, that we would have heard her because she's a loud mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. But so I, I don't think that the other last was Josie. Okay. Who else runs with them? Scarlet Winters, maybe. Black hair. Did you notice color hair? Because if it was Josie, was... it would have been blonde. If it was Scarlet, it would have been black. I mean, the attire was generally dark. So maybe. I didn't get a very good look. I was busy finding cover. Alright, well, I'll take care of that paperwork. Tell you what, though, if a shootout did occur from them, it would have been myself and Pavis. <laughs> yeah, they would have Basically, they're the front line right? of it, so. I mean, they left all of the, those with CD basically moved to positions where he was alone in the street. He would have been fucked. Such a moron. That's his. That's what he does. He attacks people right in the middle of town. Yep, pretty much. All right. Well, I'm gonna go fill this paperwork out and then go to bed because I'm tired. Okay. For sure. So, Thank you, Kramer. Of course. Hope you both enjoyed the rest of your day. 
And also, what was that about your dress? Yeah, I was thinking a uh, you like a nice burgundy. Why are you maybe, maybe like I don't understand. purple? <laughs> like maybe lavender. Lavender seems a good color. It matches my eyes. I got green eyes. Yeah. Think about it. All right, think about it. I, I've heard, heard what? It's gonna be the flower girl. Uh, no, uh, Weller is gonna be the flower girl. Let me. Wait, fucking Weller? What do you mean? Weller? Hold. You just said that in front of fucking so many folks. Don't worry about it. Keep your fucking mouth slow. Huh? I'll see you later. Good night. <laughs> Watch it, Rip. Oh, goodness. Don't, oh, Rip! Don't run people down in the street. I didn't run them down. You almost I did. I went straight round them. Straight round them. Yes. Say that I again. Took a straight line around them. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I hear a word. Fucking hell. Sorry? I said that uh, fucking hell, you know, I just had a really big day, you know, that's a. Oh, okay. Sorry. Are they gonna fight over who gets to be the flower girl? Uh, probably. I thought you said uh, he was gonna be a bridesmaid. No, Kramer's fully up for it. He's gonna get a dress and everything. No, I don't want him wearing a dress. Goodness. I mean, hell, I'd wear a kilt. Right, well, a kilt's different, but they just don't have him here in the crossing. It's a shame. Are you just burning your horse out of energy? No. Why, is, is Terror tired? Yeah, he's... Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Huh. He's about to fucking buck me off here and... Why? Uh, you're running very quickly. <laughs> uh, this is kind of kept going for a wee bit more there. No, you, uh, basically at the bottom of the barrel. No, not Odysseus. Like tear is getting old. Just asking why. Because you're running for so fucking long. I mean, but my horse wasn't even beginning to struggle when you started to ask. That's why I was saying why I was confused. Mustangs have got kind of insane endurance. Poor tear. Do 
be able to get away. And I'll deal with whoever's behind. Wait! Wait! Okay. Rip. If we're being chased, do you need food for him? No, he's, he's fine. I'd rather you get to safety and I'll just deal with them. Mm. I would stand by you, right? No. Nope. Yep. No. Nope. You don't get a say? I know, I do get a say. No, you know what? Yes, I do. If we're getting attacked by someone, I'm going to stand a by deputy. you. I'm not going to run away. Okay, if, if it's just us, it's I'd different. Much prefer, I'd much prefer you go and get the rest of the department. It's just us, it's, it's different. I'm gonna go hitch him up where I should have put him. Best, you know me. I do have a question though. What's that? Have you ever, uh, have you ever considered putting salty caramel in with the oat cakes? In with the oat cakes? Yeah, mixing them together. So you you want a you want a cookie? Is what you're saying? Well, I mean, still be the oat cake, just with a little bit of salty caramel. I think it would be better just to make a chocolate cookie with some salted caramel. That's what you want to do. Okay. I just noticed oh. in one of the uh, one of the crates at the office in Valentine, somebody had left uh, left some there. <laughs> I was tempted to grab one. But I figured I'd uh, run it by you. <laughs> Alright, I will. I will bake you cookies. Okay. <laughs> we'll get right on that tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds like a tree. Good night. Rip wants cookies. Which is funny. I'm just going to throw you guys at Sergeant Tyne, because he'll be around for a while. It's a good trade-off. Yep, it was another exciting night. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.